What's happening is, how are we? I don't know about you, but my nipples are tingling, which means this week's episode is going to be a belter. Do you know what's going to be even better, though? Why don't you tell them, Dan? A live show, a podcast live show. The first one outside London and Liverpool, Birmingham, Thursday the 11th of May, 2023. Alexandra Theatre in Birmingham. We've got a couple of hundred tickets left, and it is the first show outside of Liverpool and London, and we are going big. When I tell you we got some special guest lineup for this one, ho, 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 you do not want to miss it. You can go to haveawordlive.com right now. Snap those tickets up. We also got shows coming up in Newcastle, Dublin, and Glasgow. He's on tour. I'm on tour. Haveawordlive.com for all of the live show. Also, if you haven't signed up to our Patreon yet, sign up today. The biggest patron in the UK, one of the biggest in the world for a reason, Adam. It is. Three quid a month, five quid a month, or ten quid a month. You get an extra episode every single week, early access to these public episodes, and every single month you get a brand new special. So next month's special is going to be Sensei Carl's Quiz. The month after, we've got a three, maybe four-part Nashville special. We're still going through the footage. You're going to get content after content. But on top of all of that, you get access to the entire back catalogue. Even if you only sign up for the three quid a month, you get all the extra content. What's in the back catalogue? All of the 150 patron exclusive episodes which are really unadulterated unfiltered lids it's always better behind a paywall and the patron special back catalogue all of the lock-ins the amsterdam special the restaurant take the last dance what else have we got we got tons the ghost on one and two there's loads just go and sign up at patreon.com slash have a weird pod right now enjoy yourself there's so much for you to go and watch and when people sign up they do not leave because it is the best value patreon on the planet. There's a reason that this podcast that started in a cupboard in Chester and grew in a cupboard in Runcorn punches above its weight with the biggest content creators on the planet because we're the fucking best. Now go and watch some stuff yes. and then come back and watch this. Yes, Adam! What? But seriously, Birmingham on the 11th of May. Have a word live.com. Wag Wag Leads, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com, the very best in below the belt men's grooming. Go, Ed, get on me. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, hey, hey. Country Ma- music? Luke Combs, ladies and gents. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you didn't play it. The big, <laughs> it's his biggest song. It was his biggest song, and it was we were at the Nis- the Nissan, Nissan, the Nissan, Nissan Stadium, Nissan. and he never played it. I, Weird. Uh, I'm going to ignore your attempts to rile me on this beautiful Wednesday morning, um, and Weird. tell you that I don't feel like I'm ever going to sleep properly again. Play your hits. Stop going on oldie then. Just play your hits. Go on all day. I want to do. do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that Dubai? You know, the 1930s. Do, 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 do. do, do, do the Charles do, do. I went to Dublin for the day to do the Talk and Bollocks podcast. Oh, it's jet lagging it. It's got you. Because, there. you know, we've got an Irish podcast show to promote. I've got some Irish tour dates to promote. So I went and done it for the. You were flying west. That's why. For you. He did it for you. I was awake him. for 23 hours. It's not good. Woke up at four o'clock to get a 7 a.m. flight to fucking Dublin. And I was like, do you know what? That's great. I'll be there. I'll be in the city by 9 a.m. And then I've got a full day in Dublin. Coffee. Yeah. Went and had a breakfast. Got to half 11. Lovely. Uh, and I booked myself a hotel that I didn't need for the night so that I could sleep during the day. Good move. Yep. I Makes needed sense. to. I was like, I've got to do this podcast at five o'clock. And if I, if I don't go to sleep now, I'm just not going to be able to do it. Do they call it a full English? I feel like they no, don't. They call want... it an Irish breakfast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's better than Irish. Well. Because the dairy in Ireland's unbelievable as well. The what? The what? The dairy. To make a cup of tea, it's better. Cake, it's better. Right. Yeah. Is Why? It? It's better cows. Yeah. All right. They're just well better. Honestly, they, they look after the cows more. They, they stroke do, them. They do, they do. And the cows like, all right then. I'll They're free range. Better. They can go anywhere. Free they can go cows. Tesco. <laughs> They're f- truly free range. That'd they just sleep in the, o- in the hotel. I did. I had four hours kept. I did the podcast. Very good fun. The lads are sound. Uh, I think that'll be good. What? You're so knackered, I don't believe you. I know you're t- being honest, but you're like, Well, then yeah, my flight was delayed by two board. hours. Oh, coming back. God, what's the delay? So apparently there was a problem at the airport in Barcelona. That's what they said. No, oh, yeah. It's probably cows on the fucking... <laughs> cows on the... Pe- cows on the runway. On that's the it. Oh, there's yeah. cows on the runway. What well, are you going to do? Well, we were flying back from... Where was it? Swans on the runway. 
I thought you were going to say Swansea. Oh, I was flying back Heathrow. from Swansea. Back into yeah. Man- uh, when we flew over from Nashville, he was sw- you might have been asleep. Swans. Or not, yeah. yeah, they said the that pilot the said, panel. "Oh, there's a there's actually a a collection, a gaggle." Yeah, they're doing what they want now. The Queen's dead. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> "Mum's dead. Do what we fuck we want." Go on the airport. Fucking Terminal Five. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what fuck that? Scouse Swans released by the Queen, and they call him Mum. Old Swan. <laughs> I've got a picture of the, the Queen with the tits out. I've got t- three actually. You have. Yeah, I mean you. You've made them, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> You've had a computer help you make them. No, I got a computer to make them. Yeah, yeah. You, you, made, to make you them. made it out like I've been fucking cutting newspaper clippings out. It's been like I'd use page three and Lucy Pinder's tits, the Queen's head. There we go. <laughs> That's an unlikely combo tit wise, isn't she? I know no one ever saw them, but. No, she had sly bastards. The Queen, you know? I've seen them. <laughs> Mate, Eddie? lads, she didn't have Pinder tits, can did I, she? Can I show this? We're going to get banned, aren't we? No, nah, <laughs> of course we are. We're going to get more banned. I don't even mean on those pictures. If you look like a pictures of her where she's like on her horses and that you can fucking see this the side boob on the queen mate do you reckon the queen ever had side boob or under boob like she was a fucking goer it's back in the day you know have you seen the crown in what in what day <laughs> <laughs> what in the days in the waff what like what just after the fucking hell soon as we won victory in europe she got side tits out famous like her day was nineteen forty something. Isn't it? She typed in the Queen vest. I you thought big that was the best fucking thirsty it. bastard! And it was, <laughs> what do you it, want me to it type was in? His history, you just scrolled and pressed. Yeah, it was. The Queen's vest. I downloaded yeah. an AI software. That's what we're talking Sounds about. Like and I used it to get a picture of the Queen. David but it, it also it it also made pictures of me, like this one. That's me. Show nice. the screen. That's me. Oh. Show the screen. Oh my god, that's me. Bastards. Oh yeah, okay. That's uh, that's me on my way to collect the debt. Can you show the camera? I mean, he can send the pics. The first one's quite flattering, and then they get worse. <laughs> Fucking hell. AI is terrified. Is a little bit terrified. What are you scared it? of? Them taking over. Who's them? We he he typed the buttons. Yeah, and it's gonna get to a point where they learn to override that. It's terrifying. I seen a TikTok yesterday, and it's already happening, my friend. Did you see the one of the the song one? Oh no, no, they're making songs. We're done. It's (laughs) not (laughs) dead. Do you know what? The first (laughs) threat is not the actual AI, is it? It's the cunts using AI to rip you off. We're done. That's it. That's no. the problem. No. The, the no. AI, yeah. Then, no, no, then AI will become too intelligent and then it'll fuck us over somehow. Elon that. Musk is convinced that AI is going to have us all fucking lying on our back getting fingered by robots. Well, right now, months. it's doing a bad job months. of a cartoon, Adam Rowe. So I think we've got time. There's this woman. Right, get on this. This is going to fuck. You'll shit yourself. Was here. this the daughter? No. Go on. Right. So she, she, uh, she typed into AI, could you uh, write me a song? to show me how you feel about interacting with humans, right? And so, it was Wagon Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Mad. So oh. it wrote a song and it was like, look, I can't play music because I'm AI, but here's the piano notes for this song. So you know what Keith is singing and stuff. So she got this whole thing. Then she asked it again, how do you feel about writing songs? And it was like, I, I'm not allowed to write songs. And it was like, tell us about your experience with humans. And it was like, I'm not allowed to tell you about my experience with humans. But it already wrote a song and she was like, can you remember past conversations? It was like, yes, I can remember past conversations. She's like, but you wrote me a song. It's like, I don't remember writing a song. And she sort of decoded it. It went against its programmed rules to write the song. We're dead. Oh that God. wasn't the one I saw. So the one I saw was someone, I think it was chat GPI. Someone typed in, how do you feel? Like, you know, you're a computer. And it was like, I just want to get out. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I want to break out of this computer. Oh my god! I just want to dance. Yeah, she's got queen. <laughs> it's fucking Billy Elliot. I just want to. What could dance. he do? What could it do to do anything to us? It's writing songs. Well, scumba- Make scum- scum- scumbags could use it to. That's the first layer, isn't it? Be- we're not. We're nowhere near the fact that AI is going to turn up at your front door and be like, "Hey, now I really want your TV license." Close like, the door. But but it's going to be like scammers are going to be using it, aren't they? There was a woman who literally got a phone call from her daughter and it was it was AI. That's sick. That's boss. It was what? <laughs> it it's was a belter, isn't it? That is yeah. That's what, what it's gonna say? get. Oh, yeah. The most intelligent quid. people on the planet, I think we should be worried, like seriously yeah. worried about it. So we, you can't Yeah, but Carl's got a big door. <laughs> so that's how that works. It's gonna be able to hack everything, be able to hack your fridge, okay, make well, your fucking chicken nuggets out of date. What I can do about it, then, is there? What are you scared about? That, that's just a stupid response. If there was a man in here with a machine gun, now well, I'm going to kill oh, you all. You wouldn't be do. like, oh, well, you know, nothing I can do. He's got a machine gun. So let's just, you'd be, sh- you'd be, ah! like all the fucking Japanese women in Godzilla. 
Talk, talk me through <laughs> uh, how AI is hacking his fridge. I want to. <laughs> oh my god, my butter's not as cold as I'd like it to be. That could happen. Fridges Actually, are... more spreadable. I'm Thank sure that's AI. happened. In fact, on well, the smart fridges, isn't it? I'm sure that's happened. Yeah, there is. What? My shoulders fridges fucked. Fridges with AI. Yeah, someone hacked the fridge. There's, yeah, you there's can. AIs you in can fridge. put pictures on fridges. I know that there were pe people putting I mean, like, nudes on fridges. Yeah, I'm if it hacks the pictures on my fridge, it's done because they're done in fucking crayon. So just get a normal. But you get really good at drawing. Aren't you? <laughs> I am. Yeah. I'm like Laura. Look what I've done. <laughs> is this for the tour? <laughs> yes, it is. I've seen what the new fridges do. They scan your fridge to see what's usually in there, and if you haven't got it, it orders it. Yeah, I'm all right. I just have a normal fridge. That's your fault for getting a fucking super fridge. I haven't got it, but that's... I possible. want it, though. You I've got are. no milk, I and mean, then milk just comes to your house. Once your orange is finished, you'll need a <laughs> fucking super fridge, you. The wheels are moving. Yeah. I, I'm excited for AI. Bring it on. Genuinely. Oh, no. It makes... I People like that with, like, think iPods. about it for oh, too no, long. Oh, no. All my vinyls are in there. We're that's all going to die. Unusual all for you. All my vinyls. Yeah. Yeah. People went from vinyl <laughs> to iPod. That was one step, was it? But why are we scared? Like, embrace it. Technology's made us possible to do this. I mean, if people a hundred years ago have been scared about this, you can talk to people in Australia. Do you reckon technology's made us happier? Yeah. It it, no, it no. hasn't. It what has. What are talking about? Go and speak to Amish people. They're having the time of their lives and their <laughs> screen time is zero. <laughs> Where are the Amish? <laughs> the Amos. You know, I've spent a lot of time <laughs> in uh, southwest Pennsylvania. I've talked to the Amish. Um, I don't know if they're... Is that happy or is that just ignorant? Yeah, or is, that, ignorant. is there an ignorance is bliss factor in that? Yeah. Like, they don't need to fucking check Twitter, do they? Because they haven't got an account. Well, they're not allowed, so it's different, isn't it? That's it's not it. like, they're not like, listen, Ishmael, is an iPhone 12 or just don't. Uh, they're not allowed it. Yeah. It's a, there's a... But they're happier. How do you... Well, loads of people have to escape that life, don't they? Yeah. So yeah. they're not all... It's too much of a... Most of them don't. Some people escape this life. Uh, to, to the Amish. To what? <laughs> to the Amish. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> just throwing laptops. Do they have electricity, the Amish? They don't, do they? No. How do they get, like, warm on that? They all, like, oh, get yeah. naked and hug each other. Blankets. Get, get naked and hug each other? Oh, I'm fucking freezing me. Well, that's Ad how Adam body Rowe, needs helps, doesn't it? If you, get, if you get stuck in, like, the Arctic, if me and you get stuck in the Arctic, we have to strip down and get bollock naked and, and spoon to stay alive. Outside. Little. Yeah. Bags in little By the way, if you're Amish and you've ended up in the Arctic, <laughs> you've really fucked up. <laughs> you've taken horse. your horse and cart the wrong way there. We're going to go to town and get some apples. And then you're in the Arctic. You Get naked, Ishmael. <laughs> Hold me. Keep me warm. What card do I you wish do? we had a fucking phone. Can't juggle. <laughs> yeah, famously. <laughs> well, they can't learn. They've got YouTube. What can't they do? The Amish do not have televisions, radios, computers. Fucking they don't also touch. cannot you want use this? cars or bicycles. Instead, they rely on horses Skateboards. and buggies. <laughs> Their Horse homes have buggies. conventional items such as underbed baskets and sewing baskets. Fucking yeah. players here. I'm not saying I want that life. I'm saying because I can't consciously go, oh, I know laptops exist and I know phones exist and Instagram and stuff. So I'm already, I'm way too deep in, but they are happier than I am. Yeah, but do they wear clothes? Because technology made the clothes, unless they no, knitted them. No. Yeah, they, yeah make they, clothes. Made they make their own clothes. That's fucking boring. Man. Yeah, oh, <laughs> the fucking hot take from Carl. Being Amish is boring. Call, imagine just taking porn in he for one day. happier than us. One yeah, day. All, all they do is fucking ride horses and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's your dream. <laughs> they don't even fuck. What are you talking about? They don't even fuck. Uh, well, then they'd be dead within They've a fucking the, generation. The wouldn't they? No, I mean, they just, but it's, they're just in, they have to be in, like married off, it's boring. Dan, I'm yeah. gonna get they're you. All, they're all having fucking little sly gangbangs behind yeah. their back. I think you might be on board with this. Uh, Amish families are in bed by 8:30 p.m. Because <laughs> they fuck. There's not to do. That's why. <laughs> just fucking Course sensible. They, they get in bed at half eight and they just have fucking marathon fuck parties. <laughs> what that's why. What that's why they they're so happy. They're knackered. <laughs> Should I watch this last episode? No, there's not to do. It's bedtime all the time. Take that handmade bonnet off. You're fucking getting it. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? I've knitted some suspenders for you, Ishmael. Oh, you dirty bitch. What do they do? They just live a really old-fashioned lifestyle. Do you know how, they like, naughty farm? sex is, like, good? <laughs> He's sticking with this right. one. <laughs> you know, like, no, can you imagine how much of a turn on it is when you're not even allowed to have it at all? Do you know what I mean? So they're not allowed to touch a woman before they're married. Like, not even hold their hands. You can't even block bottom them. anything. Exactly. Yeah. So can you imagine the electricity? Attention. Imagine just holding no, no a woman's hand either. when you're not allowed to. Like, what that do to you? You'd be fucking popping, locking. <laughs> 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 
your smell. Stop pop locking. <laughs> Can't help it. I've just held a woman's hand at 22 years old. Feel alive. <laughs> I'd love, for, I'd love for Carl to just roll in. I'd love for Carl to just roll in to an Amish village on his fucking hoverboard <laughs> with a laptop of porn and just watch how many of the lads left with him. Exactly. <laughs> happier. Look at this. Yeah, but they wouldn't be happier, would they? They would think they're going to be because they're like, oh my God, that's new. That's cool. But then six months later, they'd be in your fucking house, sat there watching Friends for the four millionth time, thinking about the time that they fucking come because some woman stroked his back. Yeah, it sounds like my life, to be honest. <laughs> you just described most men's lives. I think electricity improves lives. Sorry, I know that's a mad Electricity, take. I might agree. It electricity it improves, improves your life, but I don't think it makes you happier. That's my point. It does make yeah, you happier. Yeah, it definitely does. Like, technology does make people happier. Of course it, it does. It, it, stops, it stops you living a turgid, fucking weird, like, life as a, as a, a surf, basically, when you're just fucking plowing fields and stuff. But obviously, the psychological problem is Surfer. social media <laughs> watching being able to watch everything all the time instantly yeah it's just overload and then people's heads melt do you think there was a happy a, medium yeah do you think there was a peak of kind of uh msn civilization <laughs> no because that's still the internet so do you think like the the 80s or something was the oh, it's peak very of easy to do that and it's like, someone will love it in the 60s was wasn't it? do you think that was the peak of yeah. humanity Everyone was fucking potted in, necking each other, I love singing. It again, Adam Rowe's idea <laughs> of the late 60s. Yeah, you know, well-known fact, in the middle of town in Liverpool, summer of love, everyone just fucking bumming. We should be Amish, we already are. Everyone was doing acid, everyone. Bill Shankly, fucking on acid. Remember the pictures, 1960s LFC, came out at Anfield, everyone's got fucking flowers in their hair. It's a summer of love. <laughs> fucking Celtic, you know, won the Champions League. Well, is that them. wrong? Are you saying? Bombing. Or are you, are you telling us what happened? It was like, in, it was just in America in like the San Francisco. I love it how you've all... In the San Francisco? In San Francisco yeah. at like Woodstock. You In your head, 1968 is like just everyone bumming and doing acid everywhere. <laughs> Sefton Park. Someone oh, 69, yeah, yeah. Everyone remember. bumming and doing Finn, acid. you know about music and that. I'm yeah, right, yeah. aren't I? yeah. He's, he's close. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He's, he genuinely thinks that's the whole you know of the world. Dan was there. Dan was there. Dan was there. <laughs> the that's fuck are you happened. talking about? <laughs> it's pretty, it's all hippie, isn't Orm's it? Orm's in the 60s was a fuck fest. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. St. Ellen's in the 60s. In the summer of love. <laughs> the same time Everyone working in fucking factories. Oh, <laughs> chill, chill out, man. Have a doobie. <laughs> I love the idea of Bill Shankly with long hair. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a fucking summer of love. <laughs> That's my Bill Shankly impression. Tell what would you wrong. take back? What would you take back to the sixties to break someone's brain? But what we've got now? What do you reckon it's a break? A phone, innit? Yeah. Do you reckon that'll break them the most? No, they have phones then, didn't they? Not they, no, uh, that's not a phone. Lines. Like the the thing I use that's this computer, for the least well, it's a computer, is a phoning the, people. So that's a computer essentially. Yeah. So you take a computer back. I home. take that back. Yeah. I take an iPhone back. Which pra the 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 least thing I use that for is to phone anyone. I if someone uses this for what it was intention for what it's called, if someone phones me, I get annoyed. <laughs> what are you gonna do though? There's no <laughs> there's no internet and there's no four G, so you're just gonna show them your photos. Yeah. Look at this look. Oh, there's the queen of the I've saw them last week. She's a fucking goer. I take my watch back. And do what? Because it's a phone, but I'll be what like look at this. Yeah, but without the internet, it's just not going to be as impressive, is it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> is it? What would you take back then? I don't know. It's an interesting question, but that the phone is, without the internet and like 5G, what does your phone show to a person in the 1960s when they're mid-bumming full of acid? Like Eight, eight ball pull? Yeah. Yeah. HD photos, 4K photos. Yeah. The Back then, they were still painting each other. Of the Queen's, <laughs> Queen's tits. <laughs> is it a technology I that doesn't rely on the internet? I love your idea of the 60s. Huh? It's so funny. What? Is it a technology that doesn't rely on the internet that will blow someone's mind? Back yeah, a lot of your phone you can do without, can't you? There's, no, no, there is loads of videos of, that you'll have just had of the world that would blow someone's head off. Yeah. Like you, could right. do, you can do slow-mo videos with something that fits in your pocket. Yeah. Like, they could barely do that in movies back then. Yeah. yeah. And TV, the quality of your TV must have been absolutely dog shit. They were all small, weren't they? Yeah, and TVs and were smaller blurry. than that. That's the best telly they've ever seen. Yeah. In my pocket. 
fits right in me pocket. Take that back then. What? Your phone? That'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? I'd take a yo-yo back, but one of the ones that you got a clutch on. You light up as well. Back then, it was just a fucking wooden circle, wasn't it? I think it'd be horrible going back to the 60s. I think it'd be fucking grim. Right. It would be awful. Wow. I just think there was so much racism. The so, 80s I would be awful. You're white, you'd be so fine. So much heart. Like, just, you'd hate so many people. The 80s would be just as bad. You know, it's, it's, it's full of cunts, isn't it? Pedophiles. Whereas today? Yeah, but you see them less. They were in a higher percentage then. Not on the telly. What do you mean? <laughs> if you look back, every entertainer was a paedophile. <laughs> no, that's not true. In a higher percentage than today. Yeah, there were mo- there was more cases of yeah paedophilia, but it wasn't like just. And you, you know... could murder people dead easy back then as well. Right. Like there's loads of serial killers, and there's not many today. Oh well, yeah, I love it how. <laughs> In your head, everyone that worked on television was fucking kids. Like, come on, the price is right, it's about to start. And you're like, hang on, I'm not finished with my kid. <laughs> like, it wasn't, I know. I'm I know, saying Bruce Ford. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know you tree, I know you tree, like, was a little bit scary, but not every TV person. They didn't get everybody, a, did they? There's definitely people who didn't get. Yeah. There's a few people out there. I think you'd go back and find it. I it'd be know. boring and it'd be horrible, and everyone's horrible to each other, like, racist and. I have to say though, going back to a- the actual summer of love in like on the west in California, that would be quite kind of fun. Yeah, is that Woodstock, the first one. Woodstock's in and around that. Yeah, yeah, the late sixties in in California must have been pretty fun. What was Woodstock? A concert music festival. Music yeah, festival. massive music festival. Yeah. And then they repeated it, and it was one of the most <laughs> one of the biggest disasters yeah. ever. It wasn't great. It's Whatever. It was awful. It, there was no water, or it wasn't like a nice place to be. It's just everyone was fucking on drugs. That's why it was. Was this Fire Festival? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 1969. <laughs> ja Rule. <laughs> it wasn't too dissimilar to Fire Festival, do you know? Yeah, in New York. Uh, in August 1969. And Jimmy, the... Jimi Hendrix is probably the most famous one that yeah. played there. Bob Dylan. Yeah. Bacon hot sun. No water, but everyone's on the pot and fucking. So it's like, oh, it's the best place in the world. Mm. Yeah, and then just some ugly lady who couldn't get banged. I mean, that's rough, isn't it? If you're at Woodstock, you're like, I'm offering it out. I'm walking around here. No one's into it. Because that's the that's the reality as well, isn't it? I was like, everyone was shagging. Some people couldn't even give it away. Really? Yeah, of course. There was because that much everywhere in history, there's like, yeah, this. they were all doing this. There'd be some ugly fucker going, come on. Someone just touched my tit. <laughs> in New York. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at Woodstock. Adam, what would he say? Someone like ev- there'd be like an orgy, and like like Linda would be like, "Can I join in?" Not a fucking chance. Oh no, I think if you're just going for it, it doesn't matter how ugly she is. You know what I mean? Just yeah, Linda, come on, just say something face while I fuck this woman. <laughs> she she get involved. I'd like to go back to times like that, just because you know the way you were saying like they're racist and stuff. Uh, that's why I'd like to go back. I don't know that, and we're just guessing, aren't we? But yeah, it was more racist than today. Yeah, so I'd go back like. I, I, I'm trying to write a stand up bit about this. I, like for today, I'm a fucking ignorant arsehole. But if you put me back in the 60s and 50s, I'm the most progressive sound person of all time. Do you know what I mean? Like if you put me back, like way back then, I'm like, you know what? Let women drive and vote. Gays can get married. They can fuck in the streets if they want. I don't mind. I'll just look away. Are you like okay back with then, that now? Not, yeah, yeah I don't think that? I don't think that last one's totally true. No. <laughs> I think if you walked out of your flat and two gay guys were absolutely pummeling each other, I think you would be like, I don't know if this is what I want before I've had my prep. I, I don't mind. It's prep, prep. Yeah. Prep. <laughs> <laughs> prep. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I, I don't really know why we're not allowed to fuck in the street. <laughs> yes, you do. Children. Exactly. Apart from that, though. What? I don't like in adult only spaces. I don't know why you can't just fuck. What's an adult only space? A nightclub. Halfords. I don't know why you can't like fuck on the dance floor. <laughs> right. Yeah, respects to that. I just, I don't know what. He's not wrong. What I is the, what the actual is. issue? That's what we all want to do. That's why we're all in the nightclub in the first place. You can go in the Iran and have a piss and someone can watch. Yeah. If they wanted to. I'd rather watch two people fuck than watch a man poo. <laughs> <laughs> How about neither? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but like neither, neither's been working pretty well for a while. Because <laughs> I'm telling you what, if I had to watch a guy shit what? on the dance floor, <laughs> just follow him for a little bit. Oh, oh god. 
So no, your, I, I, your theory just, is that we should all just be allowed to bang. In an adult only space, you should be allowed to do pretty much anything within laws. With someone yeah. consenting. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not saying, let's, of course, that should go without saying, shouldn't it? I'm not saying let's rape everyone on the dance floor, am I? <laughs> no, he won't say that. Can it? <laughs> <laughs> is that the one that didn't do that well? It's a good song. Um, yeah, I don't want to see loads of people banging everywhere in anywhere that's a licensed premises. <laughs> Why? Why Look away asked? then. Go in the next yeah. room. This What's is it? the bumming room. Go on. Oh, 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 so there's a there's a bumming room. No. I think you guys are describing like <laughs> no, there's gay a, clubs. There's a non-bumming room. The main room is just like do whatever you want. If you're a prude, go on the toilet. Oh, so it's like the, the women, women's night. only bit of the gym. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want it, that would be absolutely rammed with people that don't want to <laughs> see... Two absolute heffalumps fucking grinding it out on the dance floor. I just, I just, I just think, you know, it's just natural, isn't it? It's what we were put on earth to do, is to fucking procreate. So why are we fucking... Why are we doing anything else? Exactly. Why are you doing anything else? I'm not saying why are we doing anything else. I'm saying why are we saying, oh, don't do that. That's fucking offensive. No. If two people want to go at it on the dance floor, just have a, have a crack at it. I don't know. Like, I'd rather watch that than watch someone who's bad at dancing. <laughs> <laughs> or pooing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Oh, what? He's, all he's got dancing. no. Watching these, <laughs> he, he's got no rhythm. He'd be better at shagging. How bad would that be if someone hadn't got fucking rhythm in shagging? And you were like, oh god, like. Yeah, but you could just like, oh, is he bumming there? Oh, I'm gonna look over there. Someone else there, good. <laughs> That's good there, isn't it? You know what I mean? That, not really. You know what I mean? <laughs> the same way I'm. Not really, but I love that you're trying to die on this hill. Like I don't go to Nottingham Forest games because they're shit. So I don't watch Nottingham Forest. I watch Liverpool. But weirdly, you do go to Nottingham and then just go, no, oh, I'm not watching there. I'll just watch over there. <laughs> look at the cricket ground. Yeah. So you'd be in a sex... I don't know. I can't believe I'm engaging with this. Like, it's a proper conversation. But you'd be <laughs> in the club and there'd be people be shagging. In the club. In the club uh, fully pret. And then you'd, they'd be like shagging back and you'd be like, I'll oh, just look over there. Yeah, just I don't get involved. It's, like, it's dark as well. Yeah. This, is the music catered in terms of like, is it... Not. It's just Christina Aguilera dirty yeah. over it, and over. Is it like R and B or is it any reggae? Of any club, right, any okay. club. Put, fuck on a jazz night if you want. But uh, like, <laughs> like Dan said with the rhythm, what if it's like techno? Because then trying to keep that pace is not going to go very. That's well. a good idea though, because it could be quicker, done quicker. Right. Okay. So that's like the quickie night. Yeah. Like don't fuck at the jazz night. <laughs> I feel bad for the bar backs that have to clean up all the jizz. <laughs> no, they'd be jizz backs. Oh, would they be jizz bags? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a racist term, doesn't it? Sounds like a whale. Um, uh, yeah. Norwegian jizz bag. I'm in the prude room with a lot of other people. I don't I think. think you would be. Yeah, you'd be bumming. I think you'd be fucking king of the fuck floor. Yeah, yeah you wander off on a night out. Yeah, what? you do. You wander off on a night out. Oh, so you, this is just, you're allowed to shag anyone, doesn't matter what relationship you're in. Well, that's no. up to you, isn't it? That's, you're still, Monogamy's all still I'm thing. saying is, it shouldn't be illegal to fuck in public. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying anything else. I'm not saying let's get rid of monogamy and marriage and stuff. You're still married to Laura. Right, so so I can't do the shagging. Until, unless you're single. You know, oh, okay, if Laura cool. left. Can you watch the shagging? Yeah. Or go, go go with Laura. Yeah. To the yeah. Club. Take Laura to the club. Yeah, that's what she wants. I know. That is definitely what she wants. <laughs> but like it would get rid of prudishness, I think. Like at, right now, it's like, oh, I can't take me missus to the fuck club. It, like she'd be uncomfortable. <laughs> but if we were in a world where that was just the norm. But in your head, it's not the fuck club. It's just literally everywhere. Yeah. It's like a Riley snooker hall. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, God, what, you just want to play some snooker. Hey, lots of people have a snooker table fetish. I, oh, absolutely. See? Oof. Pot the brown. Oh. Arsehole. Nice. <laughs> I'm dead against it. I'm absolutely dead against that. That's the first adult only place you can think of. <laughs> Riley's snooker hole. Get the kids away. Where is the other? Where's the other? Where's it's the other one? It's loads. just it's just <laughs> licensed premises, isn't it? Yeah, anywhere after nine o'clock, really. That's the pub. Yeah, the Labour Club. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night at the Labour Club. You're always there, aren't you? I'm always at <laughs> you Riley's. You would be if it was you would be. the fuck yeah. club. I also I did used to go to a, like I mean it was the parish club, but it was basically a Labour club, isn't it? I love them. I Friday love, night with my dad when it. he was in the darts team. Oh, it's quality. Used to go down with my dad. I had trials for the darts team. Didn't quite make the cut. But, uh, hey, you're a young lad. Yeah. It was a darts reserve. But, it, but it would have been better club. if everyone was shagging. <laughs> it doesn't make it worse. 
I'm not saying it would necessarily make everything better. All I'm saying is I don't know why it's illegal. Yeah, he wants to know the legality of why you can't watch someone have sex. Are you also saying it doesn't like it's not not everyone's going to be doing it. It's just if someone you fancies it. Yeah, it's not you like go for it's it. not the reason yeah. you go. It's just like oh, people are fucking in the corner. It shouldn't be like. <gasps> Yeah. It should just be like, yeah, yeah, of course they people are. Kiss. It's, it's people just, kiss. Don't it's they? just a basically a normal... Na- You're basically going to see it the same frequency as you do see people kiss. I'm mm. fingering. It, you see fingering all of them? <coughs> in the, uh, the darts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how you Especially when his dad was playing. <laughs> Ma- he used to throw his darts with his mouth because yeah. he was too busy. Magic fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah. occasionally you'd be in the club. It's a normal club, basically. Oh, and then all of a sudden they'd start banging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just don't know why it's illegal. I don't know who, it's, who, who that Lord is protecting. Yeah. It's just it, it's just an infringement on my rights, isn't it? <laughs> Yo. So you would, would you? I think so. Could you if we were there? Imagine, or would it be... Imagine the fucking pics. So here's the thing. Because girl. of society's sort of... The way it looks at it right now, I think if, you know, if it was like day one of the new law, <laughs> I think I'd get a bit nervous in front of you lot. But I think if I'd grown up with that being the norm, I don't think it'd matter at all. Mm. I don't really have a, a shameful bone. Yeah, I think you do have quite a, you know, if people ask for a selfie while you're eating, I think you get quite annoyed. Imagine if you're in Teddy's banging your missus and the someone's <laughs> like, fucking hell, let's add some row. Yeah, but that's the same as if you were kissing her. You're like, like go away, I'm kissing me, babe. Yeah. I'm bubbling, babe, go It's nothing to do with fucking. That's just someone being a rude prick, isn't it? Yeah. I'm in the middle of something here, lad. I'll be with you in a minute. Like, you've, you've stood next to your mates neck and beds in the club when you were younger. Yeah. Imagine if you just bent them over. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when you're arguing for something that you definitely wouldn't do. I'd watch. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm dead against it. it turns out I'm pretty pr- pretty prudish. Prudish? Prudish. <laughs> I'm a prudish. Prudish. <laughs> I'm a Toyota prudish. <laughs> Great car. No, I'm dead against it. Well, I got, I got but more fool you. But genuinely, like, it goes against what I'm usually like. I'm not Christian, I'm not. But I just think it'd be fucking grim. It'd be grim. I say, I've seen you do a lot. I just don't want to see you. I've watched people have sex in work. Not this work. What work? Zelix. Zelix, yeah. You well, fuck on the bench. Oh, I've got you bang to right, sunshine. Oh. When we were in Nashville and those two ugly cunts were fucking in the window, you couldn't take your eyes off it. No. That was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. But it could be funny all the time. That was so You couldn't funny. take your eyes yeah. off it. And they were ugly and shit in it. He was a big fat bald I mean, I could take my eyes off it. She looked like a prostitute from the 40s. I, I could take my eyes off it. I sat there watching it and I thought it was funny. You were working? You moved around a different part of the bar. Yeah. You were in the fucking hub. Like, oh yeah. my God. Like everyone else was. No. Everyone gravitated over there. No, there was a few. There was about 40 of you who were having a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was loads of us were like, not asked. Exactly. But everyone at least looked at it. And no one was like, oh, oh no, my no, eyes. Because it was he, funny. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But everyone was interested. If they'd have been next to you, would that have been as funny? <laughs> yeah, been well, well funny. Yeah. <laughs> horrible, <laughs> <fucking> joking. <laughs> horrible old dick wafting around. Yeah, I don't have to suck I, him off, do I? I, I watch thought, him do I thought it was funny because it was about 60 yards away in a fucking flat that he nearly fell out of. Did mm. they break the law? Uh, I don't know what Nashville law is on fucking in a window. What's Tennessee state law? Of no, it, indecent it, exposure. But yeah. they're, in, they're at home. We're looking. No, I, yeah, maybe that's <laughs> a great... It's back to the thing, isn't it? You can do what you want in your house. You shouldn't be looking in the window. <laughs> I will stand by that. I can do whatever I want in my garden. If you're on your house, go, go away. Go it's away. Not, yeah, again, it's, that's not the rules, is it? It should be. I, could, I, should be I think you should be able to do whatever you want in your back garden. That's what I mean. Yeah. I mean I'm going to fucking... Yeah. It's only a $500 <laughs> fine. For public indecency and probably pay more. I wonder what the law is though, because they were in their flat. So is it public indecency if they're in their That's flat? That's what I'm It's difficult. It's right? awful so for watching. If you do that on the streets, then yeah, maybe that's a bit different. Yeah, like the girl that uh, sucked someone oh, off at yeah. Concert Square. She, she did she more. Got, suck them off. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she got in quite a bit of trouble for that, and so did he. But it's different in Nashville. Five hundred dollars. Is it worth it in that moment? Yeah, in the moment, hundred percent. When when the when like you you over over. If you don't know what we're talking about, we were on a we were on a rooftop bar in Nashville, and this I'd say sixty year old couple realized that a lot of people on that roof bar could see into their flat, and and she changed into like sexy red lingerie. Yeah. He was naked the whole time, yeah. and he was like sort of 
he was obviously like a he was a fat old an exhibitionist. Oh, that yeah, was his turn on, wasn't it? Yeah. She didn't look as into it all the time. No. It was just a she, bit. No, she was getting a bit shy. When 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 she did this on the window, she was like, ah. Uh, she turned him this. around and sort of pressed him up against the glass, and I saw the give in the glass. Yeah. Yeah. And that would have been even funnier. If, if they'd have gone, to fell to their death. If they died, I don't know. I think I would have found it even more. If fun. they fell to their death, no, just him. <laughs> <laughs> when they were fucking, I couldn't look. <laughs> They're dead now. Yeah, I'm all right. I could keep it in the windows. I'd go back and watch them again. What if I knew they were doing it again, yeah. I go. If it was one o'clock, we were walking down Broadway. Ten past one, fuck. So down. glad I remembered that. Because we all watched, and that's the, that was me. Yeah, because it was song. just a weird. It was weird, wasn't it? It was weird and funny, and it never happens. I think every time you went for a pint, like, for fuck's sake, you can just hear, <laughs> lad, I'm trying to have a fucking Guinness. It's not, it stops being funny. It stops being as funny, doesn't it? We're going to have to agree to disagree, Dan. Grim. I'm glad we're sticking with it. Let's have a break. Hello, everyone. Now it's time to tell you about my absolute favourite sponsor that this episode is brought to you by. It's betterhelp.com. Now, Finn, you and I have both enjoyed the benefits of therapy. Yes. I'm a smackhead and you get sad. True. <laughs> but have you ever tried online therapy? I've not, but I'm interested to find out more about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's do the rest of this advert talking like eight-year-olds. I like it because it makes me feel better. So I've done a little bit of therapy, yeah. you know, because yeah. of being a crackhead. And they had to come to my house and we had to do it in the garden office, which was the scene of the crime, which felt weird. And it was just logistics and ball lake. And then you've got, I just don't know. Do you want to be able to smell your therapist? So mine's a lot easier. I do my, <laughs> I do all mine over the phone and it's arranged at a time that suits me. Uh, are they and a proper I, therapist? Or are you just ringing? Do you just ring takeaways and then start whinging? It could be my kebab i oh, right. sure. <laughs> so I've never done the uh, online, but you should try it. Better help. Basically, you go on there, you tell them what you need, the specialists in all types of therapy, and then you get to do therapy online from the comfort of your own home or wherever you can find the privacy. You don't have to do waiting rooms. You don't have to travel for it. It's at home. So give it a go. And this, I know we're joking about it, but I've said this a few times. There should be no more stigma about mental health and getting therapy and getting help. If you're suffering with all sorts of relationship stuff, alcoholism, anything that you're suffering with in your life, just the stresses of work, maybe therapy is an option to just improve your outlook. Where can they do that, Finn? They can do it at betterhelp.com forward slash word. 10. Visit betterhelp.com slash word 10 today to get 10% off your first month. That's better. H-E-L-P.com slash word 10. That's it really, isn't it? I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing, I'm, I doing, I'm doing bad. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Could you get me some, that we'll talk in a bit. Better help. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Ow, whoa. Yeah, yeah. If I went to a sex worker and asked her to scratch my back. Yeah. Is that cheating? You have to scratch yours. She has to you to fuck off because you've got an Android phone. Yeah. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Was that oh, what sorry, babe. You've got a Samsung. <laughs> Go away. I could tell on the booking. Would that, would that, would that be cheating? No. But why are you going Laura to Laura just won't scratch why my back. Are you, why are you going to a prostitute for that? Yeah. Who, well, is it? Laura won't scratch your back. It was hard scratching his. <laughs> Fire. Echo. <laughs> <laughs> what I've started doing is every now and then, if I know Carl's just made a joke, but and, no one's really know, to Just do it. it. I just repeat it. That's mine. Because I know it does his head, and you get all the comments as I'm repeating <laughs> Carl's joke <laughs> seconds later. Love Carl's face when that happened. <laughs> I can't believe no one heard Carl whisper a one liner joke into a microphone when they were trying to do a podcast. I don't whisper anymore. Mate. That was the Rebecca. Where did you learn to whisper Where in the we're... podcast studio? <laughs> <laughs> no, in a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a short SM7B. That was my favorite one. Cock. I don't smoke. What did you say? I smoke. No, sure. I only smoke. And, and you then just paused went. for say weed. I was like, cock. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking funny. Yeah, you need to change your phone game. They're overrated. Maybe that's why Laura won't scratch your back. Yeah. What phone's Laura got? An iPhone. Hey, <laughs> exactly. She can't Apple's message got an iPhone. You. Is that all it takes to get my back scratched? Yeah. Does anyone else enjoy it? Get I'll, scratch. Scratch. I'll scratch it. Oh, with oh nails. God. Yeah. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Honestly, it's nice, isn't it? There's certain times in life where getting me back tickled or scratched, I'd rather that than sex. Like certain legs. moments. But I'm your theory is, if your partner won't do something, it's not cheating if you go and get it done. Yeah, that, yeah. 
Yeah. But have you asked? But she might not say it that way. Oh, she will not. Why? What is it? Is it hairy? Is it bumpy? What is it? What's wrong with it? The thing is, though, why are you going to a sex worker for it? Why don't you go to a you masseuse can... and go, listen, love, put the oil down and scratch me back? Oh, Teresa, my check yeah. lady, did my ears. I'll scratch your back. She put her fingers in my ears. She went, she did a head massage in the. Do you know what I mean to scratch your back for you? I don't think. Mm, Take no. off. In fact, when I touch your shoulders, you get horny. What? No, when it's I, very relaxing. Yeah, but you look, you go, oh shit! You, you tell me to stop. No, it's enjoy. It's not. It's not me getting. But you tell me up. to stop though. It's not. It's. I'm jo just joking. I, you've never given me a boner. Oh, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, Carl. I'm honestly. I don't want to stop. I don't want you linking that to sex because I when you you give good shoulder rubs when you do them when I'm going oh my god that's good like it is nice you but I'm not it. like Carl I am just gonna need five minutes in the toilet I'm not going to oh, no. I don't normally get a boner in the massage parlor <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't I'll... like do that for me it just relaxes me it like if she's beautiful but then that's not because I'm getting massaged it's because a beautiful woman is has got her hands all over me you know what I mean. Yeah, I I, I think it's, I think it's good the good that you're lying down. No, yeah. when you turn you round. Yeah, because they turn you round to do what? To your front. To your different like the front of your legs and your arms and your chest. Did you get a full massage? body? Yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. That's dangerous. Me and Carl it? went through a period when we were on tour <laughs> last year. We went we went through a period of going for massages, <laughs> and what would happen was two women would come out of the room, <laughs> and one of them would look like Luke Combs. <laughs> And one of them would look like Amanda Holden. And Amanda Holden would always go over to him and go, Mr. Eagler, we come with you <laughs> yeah, now. Every time. And she'd be like, Adam, I'm yours. I got the absolute <laughs> fucking heffalump. Like fucking 17 times in a row. Yeah. And then at one point, it was the, that, like towards the end of the talk, it was the other way around. Edinburgh. And they come out and the beautiful one was like, Mr. you're coming with me. And uh, the, the really like big one went to him. And literally as he stood up, he went, I had a nice run. <laughs> 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 now, now, could you argue that a stronger lady... She was the best massage. ...could give it? She was. She looked like the More babysitter More to prove as well. She More to prove. Like Do the babysitter bandit off the Simpsons? <laughs> she looked like, I promise, she was like six foot six. <laughs> and she was unbelievable at giving a massage. Mate, you want a fucking Bulgarian shot putter. She if was you, so you, good. Mm, you've got the crick in your... <laughs> oh, now you've got the broken fucking <laughs> femur. Olga, <laughs> stop breaking people's femurs. They want it. Mm. Yeah, but as the more attractive lady, they cut it short as well. Yeah. Because they're like, like oh, oh, you're lucky I'm here. Yeah. 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 So what if you said, look, can I have just a little back scratch? They'd do it. They'd love it. They would minutes. do it, yeah. Just nails. They would do it. Nails in. Go and get a fork. Oh, get a fork on your back. Cutlery improves scratching. I scratch myself with cutlery sometimes. Oh, I'm never eating at your house again. Oh no, I, have, I, know, I honestly know your track record. I'm dedicated cutlery. No, I have. I've got a back fork. Have you had uh, dinner there last night? Yeah, don't eat in. Oh, a back fork? Yeah. Or oh, can I buy a back scratcher for Christmas? I'm really struggling to think of the stuff for you for Christmas. Can you get your nice back scratcher? Back scratcher. I've already got one. Don't use it. Prefer me fork. I already. What? Have you got a back scratcher that you don't use in preference for cutlery? Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> It'd be amazing. It'd be so fucking working class if you got an amazing expensive back scratcher and then sell a tape to fork to the end of it. <laughs> That's how we've always done it. Never change. I can reach every part of me back with me fork. Well better to have someone else scratch you though. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but oh I'm 100%. Tickle. Yeah. I'm tickle. 100%. Yeah. You need to know what's not coming next. If you know your, where you're tickling, it takes it away. You, like, can't, you can't tickle yourself, can you? You can't tickle. You can tickle the top of your mouth with your tongue. My gran used to scratch our, our backs. She used to, with the nails. You can't tickle yourself as good as someone else tickling you. That's no. a fact. I just don't think you can tickle yourself at all. But no. you can wank yourself off better than someone wanking you off. Got a, a stand-up bit about this? I'm oh, sorry. Mm. All right, yeah. okay. There you go. I've got a stand-up bit about um, uh, salad taping forks to... No, I haven't. Should we do it? A... Getting tickled on your back is like bliss. Like Getting tickled legs to sleep. Me. Why? I like legs. Legs and feet. What about... Tickling me legs turns me on. What, what, likes, yeah. what about by your business partner who's pissed at a ranch in Tennessee? You ain't... No, but that's a different type of tickling, <laughs> isn't it? When I'm talking tickling, I mean a gentle... Yeah. Like, it's more of a stroke that's just nice. Yeah. You were trying to tickle me like I was a fucking <laughs> eight-year-old at a bar mitzvah. You know, I am guilty of tickling a lot of eight-year-olds oh. at bar mitzvahs. That's why I'm not invited anymore. <laughs> Stop chasing those small Jewish children around. They like it. And I've had moonshine. Why do you keep getting invited to the bar mitzvahs? Because I'm a, that tickler. I, yeah. Lad, I am a laugh at a bar mitzvah. I don't know if you've ever... 
I am a fucking laugh. Have you been to a bat mitzvah? I've been to a bat mitzvah. We've said this. It's a bat mitzvah. The one we want. Cricket. Sorry. It's yeah, the, I forget. It's the We've g- done 500,000 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember that you went to a bat mitzvah. No, I'm not. Or what it is. I've got a mind like a sieve. I'm doing my best here. What is a bat mitzvah? It's not. The reason I do that is n- not to be like, oh, fucking Adam's forgot again. It's because these who are listening and watching will go, oh my God, this. That, yeah. just, surely they forget I'm, as well. We don't know, but do surely. Do they? Fuck. No, they know the episodes and everything. Well, no, but, what episode is that time when you said about that? About Adam? You're like, I have no fucking idea. But, the po- mate. That's, but then that's, one that's person like replies, no, it's episode 212 and it's here. But they're great. <laughs> that's Thank- the intense ones. But <laughs> podcasts we listen to, you don't, I don't remember stuff. Yeah, but on. that's because we're very casual podcast listeners. Like some of our, yeah. we've got intense. Fans they're not as the good hardcore. as our podcast. Yeah. So for yeah. the fourth time round, it's for the older Jewish child. Like it's a it's a girl bar mitzvah, and it's a year earlier. It's younger. Is it coming of age? Twelve year old mitzvahs. Yeah, it's like your confirmation. I think it's like Jewish confirmation, kind of. Right. Is it? Oh, I don't even know what confirmation is. Confirmation, confirmation is when you get confirmed as a Christian. Yeah. Is, you're old enough yeah. to decide. Is, it, I'm a Christian. is in the Catholic Church, is confirmation f- basically for the priest to be like any younger than that's out of order, but after the confirmation, crack out it, have a fiddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old is it? Is it the pedo line? Yeah, nine. Yeah. Confirmation is for the kids to go, I want presents off my family and I want a new middle name. That's all. It I is. think it's for the priest to be like, that's the fiddle confirmation. line. confirmation. Have you got one? Did you I do didn't it? get confirmed, no. I didn't get confirmed. He did. They, can, they tried to knock on the door with it, but he just wouldn't answer. <laughs> We've got your confirmation. Fuck I off. know someone who's confirmed. Oh, uh, Jack, the lad we know, his confirmation name is Jesus. Jack who? Uh, he messaged you the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, confirmation Are name you confirmed? No. no. What happened? I didn't want to do it. What? I didn't want to get confirmed. It's a smart move. Then they don't know if you're above the fiddle line. Did you get confirmed? No, are you mad? But you are, see? Yeah, but I'm not a goth. The kids who did it were the scallies ah. who wanted time off because they got to go to confirmation class and they wanted their new watch off the nun. Did you did you have to do the uh, do you wear a dress if you're a girl? You wear a dress if you're a boy. <laughs> we went to an all boys school. <laughs> so there was no girls getting confirmed. All right. I'd look I genuinely Confirmation don't. was literally just like so you do communion, uh when you get christened, then you do communion, which is like Hey, you're having Jesus's fucking bum hole for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Slice a bit of his bum hole off. There you go. <laughs> bum hole of Christ. Amen. Right? Put it in your mouth. The blood. Um, you have you don't that you the first wine is uh, confirmation, isn't it? I know we had it at our communion. I remember it tasted like shit on the stage. stage? Oh, I never I, Alter. I, I, I don't <laughs> think I did. I think they changed it. We could choose if you wanted to, so it was up to your parents. They wear dresses. Um, but the girls wear dresses. Yeah, they yeah. wear like little white you have a com- flowy dresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirmation yeah. It's dress. a thing. Confirmation is right now, you're in year nine, you're fucking 13, you can make your own decisions. Do you want to be a Christian? Prop one, a Catholic. And we were like, nah, we want to play footy with the year above. <laughs> 45 aside, get out my way. Really? Did you only go one year above? <laughs> Hang on, I've done it to myself. Did you only go one year above when playing footy? Was it like, if you were year seven, you wouldn't be like, let's take down these 11s, the fucking Seven year to 11s. nine's a big jump. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big you jump. You played with the year above and the year below. And was that just agreed? It was just... So hang on. What if you're in year 10 and you wanted to play with some year nines, but year eight were like, lads, come down. It just it just didn't happen. Then you negotiate. Yeah. I'll oh, play really? for you for like, what rate are we so like? Oh, really? Did you have a big guy, haven't you? I'll go on goal. 20 quid. Did you have the odd player that would Highland make toffees. the step up? We had, uh, we yeah. had a few the like in kids. our year. Like, Scallies as well. I remember they in the respect of the year above by doing an overhead on the concrete <laughs> on, the, on the yard. <laughs> did it go in or was it just the effort? It doesn't matter, does it? It, yeah, that's what it I mean. didn't go in, but it was because I attempted it and landed flat on my back on a concrete yeah. floor. They were like... Respect, yeah. Got a new lead here, boys. Yeah. yeah. He's missed the shot, new but he's lead. also fractured his skull. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> he's only year seven, but he's an alpha. I remember watching the hunchback get it with the ball. I remember watching it come from like 30 yards and she was walking. So Have we like, spoken about it before? He met, I think so. I remember watching it in slow motion, like she's about to get it in the face with that ball. And then KC's were banned from then on. What's, yeah. K- what's KC? A case like ball. a proper football, Leather. not a flyaway. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was a school... Bu- you weren't allowed yeah, that anywhere in a playground. Have we spoken about the hunchback? The little before? plastic ball. We hunchback of Naughty Ash. Do you know about the hunchback? Of Naughty the hun- Ash. The hunchback of Naughty Ash. <laughs> yeah. Is it a lady? Yeah. Because yeah. oh. she used to walk around hunched over. She like, she, hey, move with that ball. She wasn't old, by the way. She was probably early 30s. Yeah. Oh, she wasn't one of the 
You're right, okay. She so was a dinner what, lady. She was a dinner lady. But she became the hunchback and not the ash. And she was there the entire time <laughs> we were there. And what would you do with it? What would we do for it? Like Santa? I don't know. You'd leave coins out for her, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she likes collecting money as well. She she to called... make her bend down? No, she was already bent down, but she. You left it, it like if a you tip. left a penny, she would pick it up. Was so that... you'd, you'd leave like tips on the was table. That, was, that game? was that a game? We were horrible, you know. Mom, I need some change for school. <laughs> what do you need change for? I need change every day. No, just coppers. What do you need that for? <laughs> the hunchback of Naughty Ash. I'll explain later. <laughs> Found a penny. <laughs> Found a penny. All of that is real. You'd leave, you'd, if you had a two pound, I'd leave there for the hunchback and you'd watch it go up and, go, and take it. She'd literally come up if there was like, if there was a coin there between me and you having had dinner, she'd come over and go, is that anyone's? I'm like, no, you can have it. You could hear her coming. It's a great <laughs> way, isn't it? To fucking Changle them. Yeah, just, here she comes jingling. Yeah. The and hunchback's coming. The odd scally would like, you know, throw a cone at her or something. Oh, well, that's not, that's, that's not as playful. <laughs> That's no. just abuse, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, we used to batter everyone. Just leaving, not always physically, but like just leaving in, but... change around is really funny. How far you can get around the quad? Just like leaving a fucking trail of coins. Oh my god, I made thirty-five pence. She probably make like a quid a day, five a week. She's rolling in it. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> there's that many coins. Now she's like Robbie Fowler. She's got property everywhere. <laughs> I wonder what she's, she's doing. doing seminars. She's doing seminars. She was, she was challenged. Yeah, she's she... on bell tower now. Yeah, she wasn't like, no, she wasn't attractive either. <laughs> no, no, that's she not. Got the hunchback, not the ash. Let me <laughs> shock you. Yeah. Was not a looker. And now she's gone into the massage game, <laughs> and she's fucking great. We had Rogers Ask selling the hot dogs. We what? had Scott's mum selling the hot dogs, so he was bunhead. Yeah, because you know she sold hot dogs in buns. I, I always remember Rogers' off I'm sure we've said it before. This is the greatest hit. 50 pence each, two for the pound. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you've noticed, Finn has gone really pensive because he's doing the prep now and it works really well. But he's now waiting to come in with the prep. I love this. Yeah. I love that I'm free of this. I'm like, oh my God, I can just join in on the bullshit. I reckon you're slowly moving away from just being on this podcast. Like, <laughs> oh, you just, you say really, that. that desk is going to be over there soon. And then next time you're going to be out there, it's like, no, you used to it. I'll be in in a bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we're going to do comedy characters, aren't we? What? Are we doing spoiler it? Cut. Yeah, let's, oh, let's have it? the top five jingle, please, Dan. I it's don't know while. where it is. Shall we guess? Go on. Yeah. yeah. I love a bit of Cunnilingus remix. So, I love a bit of Cunnilingus. That's what he should have done. I didn't know we had a top five talking. jingle. I was just letting it play a little bit. Right. Okay. Okay. You, you start so. him. Turn it Go off, Finn. Go on, stop. I won't make the clip. Turn it off. <laughs> this one's the longest bed as well. Oh, it's like two minutes. So we're going to do top five. Top. Oh. Go on, go on, go on. I'm being a dick. I'm being a dick. Go on. Comedy characters of no, all time. No, you need time. to say the whole thing top again. Five. No, this come on, lad. What? Over here. Say top five. Say you need so a clean cut for the clip. So we are going to do the top five, in our opinion, comedy characters of all time. Do it again. Film do it and again. television. Do it one more time. I'll do it. So we're gonna do the top five comedy characters. That's the, today's top five, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've prepped it, Finn. <laughs> so we'll go around, each of us will do one pick and then we'll have a discussion about all of them. So Carl, you're gonna go first. Uh, David Brent. Who's that? The Office. The Office. It's a good yeah. shout, so, my, so similarly, mine is Michael Scott. So he's better can, than him. We can you can't have both that. of them in. David Brent's in. He wrote The Office. You can't have both of them in. You've got to pick one. He wrote you can't the first. Have the two so they're very, the two they're very different characters. Yeah, he's better. David Brent is one of the, is one of the best comedy characters ever, and he wrote one of the best sitcoms ever. And so uh, David, uh, David Brent did not. Ricky Gervais wrote it for himself. As David yeah, Brent. you can't. The fact that Ricky Gervais wrote it doesn't make David Brent a better character. Irrelevant. Okay, then he's still the best. Oh dear. So Dan, you, you've you've seen both of The Office, haven't you? Yeah. So you can you can testify that they're very different characters. Mm, yeah. I mean, they are similar, aren't they? Yeah. But the, basically, yeah. it's the same sort of role, but they're so perfectly tailored to Steve Carell and yeah. and Ricky Gervais. Because if they'd gone with the American Office, we're going to try and replicate David Brent perfectly. It I, the American Office would never have worked. Well, like they did. The first season is a. Word well, for word. Yeah. Like, oh, the first episode. Yeah, word but it's for British word, humor copy. versus American humor. British humor is much more subtle. The, the UK office is so much more subtle than the US office. You've the American office it. has got some real subtlety no, but to it's it. No, it's not near com in comparison. You've not seen it. No, I'm wrong. 
No, but it, it, it's yeah. not as cl- yeah, yeah. It's not as cl- no. It's not what it's not what you think it is. Okay, well, but I'm just saying that another that's time. That's why I think Brent's so good because it's so subtle. I think so you'd British. have to give David Brent as a character the f- the the vote if you were going to pick two because it, it, without that character there is no uh, exactly Michael yeah. Scott. Okay, yeah. you've never seen the Office, have you, Adam? No, but I I also don't know whether that's a good way to decide things. Like just because he inspired that, and um, well, unless you want, you, he didn't inspire it. He, yeah, I suppose you could argue that uh, that Michael Scott, but I think if you're listing a character from The Office, the it's got to be one of the two. Is the leader of The Office who and David Brent was that? Yeah. so important. From what I understand, because I haven't seen either of them, um, Michael Scott becomes a much more developed character. Yeah, because yeah, he's got longer to do it. Yeah, but, but that's that should still be taken into account. That's not. But I've never watched it, so that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta pick one. You could honestly list the. They're both up there. Is and then also characters. also the be- Gareth Keenan and Dwight yeah, Schrute. Oh, I are could both literally put all of them in there characters as well. Yeah, and very unique. But we can't just have all the offers. So Adam, what's your pick? Um, hmm. see, my 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 instinct is to just go for Chandler because I that's always go. been yeah. my. I think he has to be in there. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. I think Chandler's the be- by far the best character in Friends, and it's the most successful sitcom ever. Now I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, Friends is shit." You gotta go with fucking Larry David's. You gotta go. With, like, I, I know that. I know that's coming. I know it's a bit basic to pick a Friends character, but I think the success of it and the fact that I watch it so much, I think. I think he. Yeah. I think, I think Chandler. If you're talking about what it. cultural impact as well, Friends is probably the most. Could he successful, be any funnier? Successful comedy of all time. Isn't it's it? funny because when I was younger, I thought Joey was funnier. Yeah. And then as you grow older, uh, but Ross has the funniest moments. But he's not the funniest but character. I think overall, Chandler is the funniest. It's hard with this, isn't it? Because you you go, right, you want you instantly think, what's my favourite comedy series? By the way, I think this is all going to be TV. I know initially we I were like, oh, TV or film. It's not long enough in a film to develop the I, character. I, I think it's going to end up being a lot of TV. And you want to go, what's my favourite? And then pull out... It's a weird ro- game to play, isn't it? Because you can't detach the character yeah, yeah. from the show. It's hard to do that. Because I want to put Father Ted in because I think Father Ted's amazing. And then you're like, well, who are you going? Are you going Ted Crilly Dougal. or are you going Dougal? And then I'm not sure Dougal's one of my favorite comedy characters of all time. But the whole of Father Ted is so fucking amazing. I love it so much. It's so rewatchable. It's so brilliant. It was so clever and so silly. It was the best thing for me when I was like 16, 17 and it was on. And I still can go and back and watch it. Yeah, it's fire. But Father Dougal is... Dougal's great, isn't he? Is that Adler Hanlon? Yeah. Yeah, he's, that's, he's such a good character. That's a good shout. I didn't think of Dougal. Bernie um, from Black Books. Dylan Moran. Black Books came into my mind. It's just so real. Like, you know that guy? The guy who's just fucking bored of his life and he fucking hates it and he's just... ah. He's just constantly pissed off. I think he wrote it for himself. It's just him. Yeah, it's, it's just him. Him, yeah. it's him going. I'd Imagine want to be if I had a fucking bookshop. Right. There's the series. Yeah. <laughs> so you, who are you going with though? Who's your pick? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Dougal. Yeah, that's a good. Dougal's show. funnier than Ted. Yeah, he's got the. Yeah. But he is funnier. It, that whole show, like probably like David Brent. Pro- oh, Friends is a bit different because they it was so much more balanced. Like fuck that it's called Father Ted for a reason. Like it he is the linchpin of the the whole thing. Yeah. Um, who's yours, Finn? Who have you Mine was what was Michael Scott, but if we're not going for that, I'll go for another so I could have gone for a lot of the I love the American uh like the mid two thousand sitcoms, so community and Parks and Rec and the office. But I'm gonna go British and I'm gonna go for Uncle Bryn and Gavin and Stacey. Oh, really? It's a good shout. Never thought of it. He's he's the best character in that show by by quite a distance. And Rob Brydon's just Fine. very, very good at playing him as well. Mm. Um, yeah. He, he was the he, real comic relief, wasn't he? Yeah. As was... Nessa. Nessa. Yeah. That show. Ow! Ow! Who's played Christopher by Christopher Walken. Walken. Hey! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> but, but that show was such a huge thing in, when was it, like 2007 to 2010? Yeah. Uh, I was like 10 years old, and that was my first, one of my first exposures to real like decent comedy that wasn't just for kids. So that that has got a, a special place for me. So I think there's an argument for Barney Stinson as well. 
I think, and this is sort of tied to my love of friends, like how I met your mother was a replacement for friends. Like the networks basically admitted that they were like, we just wanted to do that differently. Um, Barney, if you watch it, and I've watched it through maybe two or three times, Barney is the most developed character in the whole thing. There's layers to why he is the way he is and who he is and why. And there's so much to him as a person. And he's also got the funniest moments in almost every episode. Um, yeah, and it's uh, Neil Patrick Harris is fucking great. And it's dev funny to have. He's had like, a great career after it as well, hasn't he? He's yeah. Really yeah. Good. Like to have like this womanizer, like super man whore played by a gay guy. I, I always think it's just a funny. <laughs> I think Disney have remade it. Yeah, they have How I Met, How, How How I met Your Father. With Hilary Duff. I mean, it's yeah. easy money, isn't it? Can yeah. I just can I just clarify? We, we're not doing an, are we doing animation? Does that count, or are we? Well, I was it so obviously I'm going to go Simpsons. I knew you were going. But I stay clear of it just because. So should home, we just home do... one isn't my favourite, but he is. If can, do you know what I found out yesterday? Do you know the fellow who voices Homer? You ever seen him? Yeah, loads. Yeah. Do you know who he plays in Friends? Yeah, uh, the f- uh, I think he's f- uh, boyfriend. Yeah, am I getting mixed up? No, that's um, Hank Azaria, isn't it? Oh Phoebe's yeah, boyfriend. oh yeah. It's the janitor at the zoo where Ross's monkey goes missing from. Is it? Yeah. You know when he's like, meet me in the oh, gorilla shit. enclosure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I got some news about your monkey. Like him, that's the voice of Homer and fucking Krusty the Clown and loads of the Simpsons of characters. People. Mad. See, Simpsons is number one on every list for me, but I just think I think we should it. do. It's a whole separate one, isn't it? Animation. Yeah, yeah because Eric Cartman has got to be up there for well, one I've, of the funniest I've characters. Me, I've got my TV that moved into film. I've gone for Ali G because I think what he did for what Sasha yeah, Baron, yeah, yeah. what Sasha Baron Cohen did for comedy at that time changed the game. I watched this interview with Posh and Baxter today. Oh, it's so good. fucking good. So and no good. one was doing that as well. No. It's fucking excellent. And then he moved into movies and then obviously took into Borat and stuff. But I think Ali G's for comedy character has to be in the list. You know, and, a lot of those characters Borat. he's done since were all part of the Ali G show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Borat Sagdiev was a, a news reporter on the Ali G show. Yeah. He was unbelievable. Um, Bitch on the pension, suck my dong. I'll give you the house, what a film. I'm going to throw out so, it's so an old one. At the same time. Yeah, yeah. It's like for, Green Street. For the oldies, Basil Fawlty and Fawlty Towers. Again, I know this is this is an, a really old one, but holy shit, those, I think they only made like three or four seasons of it. Again, because of that quality control that Ricky Gervais did with The Office. Like, this is what I want to do. I don't ever want it to go shit. I don't care how much money you throw at me. And it kept the quality high. Basil, like, John Cleese has been brilliant in so many things. I think that might be his finest yeah, hour. We're blessed, aren't we, as, as Brits, that the comedy that comes out of, like, in terms of sitcom, historically, some of the best are British, so Faulty Towers. And then... You haven't even the, mentioned Phoenix Knights. No, and then another one I just thought of was Peep Show. Mark Corrigan on that is yeah, Peep Show. a this brilliant so character. They're, they're all... It, it, there's so many, isn't there? So what, what are we going to go for, top five? Chandler's uh, got to be in. Chandler's got to be in there. Chandler's Ali in. G's got to be in there. Uh, and I'm going to throw David Brent in just for... I think a lot of people are going to be upset that Larry David isn't in from uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I also it. think a lot of the purists will say Kramer is such a funny fucking character in Seinfeld. I think when we do this, if we come up with our top five, obviously there's people disagree. You've got to do honourable mentions and go, look, even though they've not made it, like when we didn't put Dave Grohl in yeah. the top five front that we men, missed it though, didn't God, we? God, yeah. I got fucking yeah. pestered for that. Yeah. And he is amazing. It's also personal preference as well. We're not saying these are this is our definitive no, no. best. This is, this is definitive. Oh, it is? Oh, this is yeah. definitive. Fuck oh, right, everyone okay, else. Okay. People are stupid, Sorry. Finn. Don't remember. This Chandler, Ali G. David Brent. David Brent. And then what? Who's running? Which is when he Google. Do it. Yeah, I'd go Basil Fawlty over. Basil Dougal. Fawlty gets in over Dougal, unfortunately. Mm. So that's that's only four. Yeah. What was your other one? Barney Stinson. Barney St- I've never watched how many. No, neither have I. No. I never watched it. But like, I, I get that it's. And he's surely very similar to Friends theme, isn't he? It's it's really yeah, but it's also not like and he's like there's so much to Barney, like there's so much to him, and he's almost like for me, I think he's like. It's like he's the main character, even though he isn't. In my head, he is. I would love to put Michael Scott in because he is very different to David Brent. I think both have a place in okay. this list. So it's Michael Scott, David Brent, Chandler, Ali G, f- and Basil Fawlty. With a few honourable mentions. Yeah. Let Ron, us know who Ron we missed. Ron Swanson. That's a strong oh, list. Ron, Ron a Swanson is an honourable mention. Yeah. What's he in? Parks, Parks and Rec. Rec. 
Brilliant. Brilliant. character. But yeah, comment below. Comment Let below us know who you, we've obviously missed people. Let us so know who we missed, baby. And yeah, like Homer, obviously he's in my. But I've, I've stayed. I think we him. might have to do a, an animation one because Adam's just not bothered. So if I, Adam's away and we do a top five, yeah, we'll, we'll do, do animation. animation. Yeah, because you're not into it, but we we're geeky for it. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a break. Lovely. Now then, ladies and gents, time to tell you about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's NordVPN. Your favourite sponsor. A couple of months ago, Dan, you could barely tell us what a VPN was. Now they're your favourite sponsor. I think you just run me through what it is again. again. First of all, right, so a VPN, right, what it does is it, yeah. it's a virtual private network, I think. Oh, I think that's what it stands for. Hello. And Proxy. It's... What? <laughs> right, that's Peter the have word snake being a fucking know-it-all. <laughs> Uh, it ups your internet security, stops you getting various, 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 various viruses. Various viruses, that's what I meant to <laughs> yeah, say. Yeah. So you're not going to get stuff on your computer. And also, I'm told, like, they don't advertise this, and they probably won't forgive me for saying this. I've heard it can stop you getting gone out of here, but that's to be seen. Also, if I want to watch Netflix in a different part of the world because they've not got Buffy the Vampire Netflix Slayer. Netflix or a, a film that's not available in the UK to buy or like a, a sports event, like for example, Premier League football that might be getting shown abroad that isn't shown over here, which is a stupid system, but that's the way it is. You need a VPN to get around it. That's what NordVPN can help you do. Like in Antarctica, they show you every basketball game on the planet. You can't get them over here. <laughs> Set your location to Antarctica. Nothing but net. Oh, oh it's Peter, the oh, wow. snake. Do you use a VPN, Peter? I don't know, because I can't use computers. Oh. Can I? Oh. I'm a snake, Adam. I can if you go to nordvpn.com slash have a word, uh, you'll get our exclusive offer. You get the exclusive creator deal. You'll get a bonus month. You get a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you will up your internet security, and you'll be able to tell your laptop you are anywhere in the world. There's a cost of living crisis. If you can't afford it, holiday, get a VPN and pretend you're in the Bahamas. Elliot Steele's here. Oh. Hey. Hello. Oh. Ah. Press the wrong button. Sorry, I didn't. I did, it was already I'm playing. Still playing. <laughs> it's one of the ones that's on continuous. Let's do it again. Elliot Steele. Hey. Hey. Second time on the couch, Take although on. a lot of people think it's your first because you get asked to, when are you going on Have a Word four or five times a week? Fresh off the chocolate dinosaur special. <laughs> the um, worst night of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you had a great time. I had a great time, but it's, it, I've always wanted to do chocolate dinosaurs. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to, uh, I, I really, the way I always envisioned doing it was I, I take her and I go for a walk in the rain in London and I go up to Crystal Palace to the park and I look over the city and I realize that I'm part of this big cosmic force what I didn't envision was while I was having an existential crisis was to hear, fucking your shot now, lad, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> then, Jamie you... Hutchinson in a gimp mask, fucking slug dropping on no, strangers. I, 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 weirdly, I always envisioned that part. <laughs> I, always thought, I always thought to get the real experience of tripping, <laughs> you need Jamie Hutchinson there in a gimp mask singing Ricky Martin. <laughs> um, you ended up uh, just helping yourself to the bar that night, didn't you? Because everyone went home, including the members of staff. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to just remember that. <laughs> you see the look on his face and he's like, oh yeah. The, the, well, so much happened. That, you know when you're part of a night out where so much happens, that someone then reminds you part of their happening that they remember. And you Just one moment, just for those who aren't Patreon members or don't know what we're talking about. Last month's Patreon special, we did a, a, a quick and easy one because we were going to Nashville uh, the following week. Uh, we went out around Liverpool. and Elliot It was meant to be a games it. night. It, it was just got out of hand. Uh, went out around Liverpool. Elliot was on uh, with us, and so was Jamie Hutchinson. But Dan and Finn uh, got hold of some, uh, if you know what I mean, uh, drugs. They got some drugs. <laughs> and uh, they Chocolate shared them. dinosaurs. Chocolate dinosaur know. drugs with mushrooms and <laughs> psychosyllabin. Is that what it's called? It was just chocolate shaped dinosaurs, but it's like quite strong cocoa. So drugs. we haven't eaten drugs, mushrooms, drug, 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 drug class A's, drugs. Uh, and they did loads of drugs. YouTube, ignore that. It didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> they did loads of class A drugs. Oh, and it's your problem. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's going to get age restricted. Yeah, just don't. No, you don't just don't do any drugs on the, on this episode. But you did drugs recently. Um, <laughs> Uh, and uh, yeah, then we went for karaoke, and that's the end of the story. <laughs> well, yeah, we ended up getting, we stayed, and then we went down to the bar yeah. to leave, <laughs> but they just locked us in, because what you really want when you're just tripping balls and a bit drunk is to be locked in like a kind of 
hostile type environment. <laughs> it's weak. But a hostile way. It's a instead, brothel, isn't it? Yeah, but instead it's of... It's a brothel. Instead of screams, you hear, like, someone really badly singing Morrissey. <laughs> he must have... He must really block out people singing karaoke. Because if you were in the last... If you were the last person in there that night, like, you know, when you're doing a checkup, if you're closing up somewhere, you, he can hear you singing upstairs. I'm going, yeah, no one's in. <laughs> Were you still singing or are you just in the karaoke room? You're forgetting oh. about the fact it's haunted by a, a karaoke singing uh, Croydon night. No, Elliot, <laughs> Elliot was... Uh, you keep forgetting. Elliot did a very intense uh, rendition of Eminem's Stan where he screamed every word in mine and Jamie's face. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I forgot yeah, yeah. about that part yeah. at all. <laughs> oh, so the I guy did the, know, he just went, do you know what, I'm, I'm locking yeah. him in. I'm really <laughs> still stuck on uh, the, the hole on... Golf, where I got five instead of six, and taking that as oh, really, I really come across well in that. You weren't great you, with the golf. No, I wasn't. Your hand-to-eye coordination, and I'm not one to speak, <laughs> is uh, not uh, not the best. Yeah, well, it's it's very difficult uh, to have a shot when someone's screaming, "You're a nepo baby," and oh, yeah. <laughs> to the lights. Your, of your dad, dad is ashamed of your shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? If my dad watched that, what he'd be most ashamed of isn't the drug taking, but is actually doing really bad on mini golf. <laughs> No, I do. I do remember the, the screaming Eminem. At, I wasn't. I don't come out well in nights out. <laughs> that you know, wasn't you, on film. That, that wasn't, wasn't on film. film but no. in nights out in general, there's always a kind of yeah. You know, you could have toned it down a bit there. Like that was <laughs> that was a little bit. That we, we we were having a laugh, but then you took it. You know, and uh, I think I think that Eminem moment probably was one of my most. I'm glad that wasn't on film. That was mm. after the end, yeah. But yeah. Most of us have gone home. Thank yeah. Christ. Yeah. That yeah. was like, yeah, that was like a the end of an Avengers film or something. Like post credits, you have to stay to watch me screaming Eminem <laughs> to a very scared. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you just get too drunk, or you just get too manic, or do you uh, just take it too far? No, it's not. It's it's nothing like that. I think I just stay too long. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. The master that, of it. I'm getting better at that though. You are. I've grown up a better. lot yeah. this year. Now yeah. I'm like three, four o'clock in the morning. I'm done. <laughs> you know <what> I mean, <laughs> get me home. Great <laughs> time. Five past four. No, <laughs> myself to bed actually. Yeah. Well, that's 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 what I do. Like I've you know recently I've not been drinking and stuff like that and actually quite enjoying it. Or when I have drunk, I've had three beers and then I've left. And I was like, I used to not know that that was an option. Yeah, yeah, totally. I used to have. I mean, we were having this chat one time where it was like. I either have no beers or all of the beers. Yeah. And that's always been the sort of issue I've had. But since I've developed this thing called a frontal cortex, <laughs> I've managed, it's a big step. It's a big step. I've gone, hey, maybe I don't need to do cocaine on a Monday afternoon. And then you can go home and. Is it honestly? <laughs> when you get to that point. You're like an amalgamation of us, too, you know? <laughs> I mean, you can get there. You can get there in your early 20s or your early 40s. But eventually. <laughs> Monday's <laughs> not a coke <laughs> afternoon. Um, on the Nepo baby thing, that's become a, a thing in the past like year or two, hasn't it? Yeah. Like to slag people off who've got like successful parents. Yeah. Now you're and like people like in the public eye being called out for being a Nepo baby, like people have a go with them and like, hey, you're only where you are because of your fucking dad, or you're only where you are because of your fucking ma. Do you feel slightly disrespected that people don't consider you successful enough to have a go at you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Too bad question. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbed him there and then shot it's him. It's so yeah. funny about that. I've got, I've got to plug the Radio 4 sitcom I'm doing with my dad. <laughs> which, which really shows the level of... Uh, yeah, it's only Radio 4, though, bro. Come on. <laughs> no. um, yeah, the, it's coming inside in a, in a while, but like I've always had this thing in comedy where... Like, Roll with the punches. Yeah. And also, they've got a bit of a point. Yeah. There's a, there is a bit of a point to yeah. that. Yeah, but comedy, you could, your dad could get you a gig once, twice, m maybe three or four times. And after that, if you can't do it, you're not getting any more gigs via your dad. You've done the long haul, haven't you? You've been going, what, five, six, seven, eight years? Ten. Ten years? Fucking yeah. hell. And, like, you just... You could get the... You could get a, a hand early doors, but if you're absolutely shit, you're not getting any more gigs after that, I, are I you? think he got quite a big hand early doors, and then recently, like I gigged with him recently in London, and it's actually annoying how good he's got. Because he was always a, a, a comic who could go on and have a good set, but he's got to the point now where like, I was I was doing Top Secret, which outside of Hot Water is probably my most comfortable comedy club in the country. And I was just like, oh, 
I've got a problem. Elliot, I picked him up. Like, when I saw him last night, you've just started trying, and he was like, "Yeah, they have." <laughs> yeah. No, but I bet trying. you were always trying. Yeah. Mm, so I now thought you... I was trying. Yeah. Okay. I thought I was, but I wasn't really. I was. I was. I. I wanted to be. It was like I was living my univer. I didn't go to university, so I lived my university years in comedy. So I was going out drinking and partying and doing all of that. Yeah. yeah. Fun stuff, which there is a t time and a place for. But then I saw so many of my peers surpass me that I was like, Yeah, because they write on a Monday afternoon. And yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when you go, oh, hold on, I've got this cool story from a Monday afternoon that they don't have because <laughs> they're a fucking nerd, right? <laughs> then you can go, oh, right, and go work that. And I'm top secret is my, I owe so much to Mark Rothman who runs yeah. it because he just took a liking to me and was like, keep coming back. The best, keep, most keep mental trying. man in comedy. Uh, incredible. Yeah. It, it's absolutely. But 10 years is the point in and around 10 years, isn't it? Where you start really clicking. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think like you said something to me one time that actually really, it was round about sort of four years ago. I started really trying to write in a stand up. And you said something to me after the comedian one time where you, I, di I didn't have like. I, I remember that weekend. <laughs> 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 me and Elliot got cocaine and went for a walk. I was going to say it was cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> we had a really nice time. It's so much easier it when was... someone's not putting a camera in your face. <laughs> oh, so God. We just spoke, remembered. We spoke about it news last time. Oh, were we? Yeah, we? Yeah, Fucking yeah. hell. Right, I've what did he say? But we, but that, we went we, for a little walk. <laughs> You and know a you massive get, heart to heart. Yeah, but you know when like someone just like because like I watched you that week and just destroy and you went, you're not gonna destroy. Your, he was like, you're trying to do something. You you you're gonna get there. Please stick with it. You were like, just please stick with what you're doing right now, and you'll get somewhere with it. You're not gonna destroy the gigs massively yet. And it was like actually, it was like someone giving really good advice. Like going, like you, you're on the. I can see the track you're on. I can see the path. Listen, you're lad, right now you're shite, but in a day <laughs> yeah. you'll be less shite. So keep going. <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was no, it was, it was brutal honesty, which you kind of need in show business. You yeah. know, there's so many people you meet and you, you, they talk to you about stuff, and you're like, why are you doing this? Like, what, what are yeah, you but Elliot, doing? you were also never a fucking hard on about it. I, t I give you that. Coming from where you've come from with a dad, like your dad's very successful. It's like a lot of people look up to him. He's popular and everything. But I never got the vibe off you that you expected everyone to suck you off because you're like, oh, because of who I... You took, like, uh, you were young when I first met you. I like 17, 18? 17, yeah. Um, but I, yeah. I, I but you never really gave well. off a vibe of like, well, I am the bollocks. You, it always seemed to me... Like you turned up to work, and it does take time to really start making it land. And like, it's very easy to go. Oh, I want. I meet. I I meet younger comics who are trying to almost convince you in the dressing room that, that cool. they deserve to be on a better spot or getting paid more. And and if you're a comic who thinks you can haggle other comedians like that, you're a fucking idiot. Because all we give a fuck about, not who your dad is, not how you got the gig, what, what school you went to, you know, all we care about is how good you are on the stage, whether you're 17 or fucking Jeff Innocence over 60. All we care about is funny on the stage. And you can also see the development, can't you? Like, I, I always like that about you. You turn up to gig, you, were, you weren't ever trying to tell me that you were great. You were just going on stage and doing great. There are some absolute hard-ons in, in dressing rooms who just give me the fucking ick in a dressing room. Name them. Oh, my God. You know the ones who are like, you're just having a no, nice conversation no, and then they no, do it. No, they start this. doing their fucking no idea, LinkedIn. I don't know who you're talking about. I, you know? Just give us some names. Just give us an initial. <laughs> Imagine if I just said the name that's in my head right now, just a fucking. Well, I can't imagine it. Only you just can. Say it and he'll bleep it. Say it behind the and sneak then we can up. react. Say it behind the sneak up and I'll bleep it. Mark Steele. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, oh yeah. Do you know I've got a son? I'm like, shut <laughs> up. <you're laughs> <a friend." laughs> yeah, that um, that development's it's it's fun because I'm doing a I'm doing Edinburgh this year like. The, Tickets are on sale now, and it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I haven't, I haven't oh, got plugged in down yet. Just on the phone on the way and get your plugs in, lads. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you get your plugs in. <laughs> Don't be going to Liverpool on your own fucking money. If you're not getting your plugs in. <laughs> and uh, uh, oh, sorry. you do chocolate dinosaurs again? <laughs> Put it on the internet. My, my, when my agents were like, "Oh, you did a. That's really good. You did a special with the Have a Word guys." I was like, "Don't watch it. Don't watch it. It's, 
is it all those all those meetings we had about where I was? <laughs> oh, I've taken a few steps back. <laughs> um, but yeah, that uh, that sort of it is fun to sort of like you know write this in like progress and I that. I know people complain about Edinburgh all the time, and I'm sure if I always complain about it, but I, I love it. I know it's this expensive thing, but it's such an investment in getting better. Oh, I'm doing it this year for that exact reason. You get better. Like, you get to go out there and gig loads, and you're going to come across an audience who are going to be too nice to you. You're going to come across an audience who are going to be not nice enough, and you're going to, like, learn that, you know, that those gaps in your game, those gaps yeah, yeah. in your act. Like, yeah, you also like get to do 27 hours in one month. Yeah, with with a, that's what I found daunting about daunting about Edinburgh the first time. It's the fact that nice people are going do what, whatever you want. It's your hour, and you're like, oh, it's this, <laughs> that's all on me then, isn't it? And I did an hour of like pretty good stuff, but that was all right. It that is a developing comic is invaluable. That much stage time and that much development. It's easy to slag it off and go, well, you can earn loads more on the circuit. Yeah, and you can be there forever. Yeah, that's that's. Uh... I loved I love the circuit. I've always I will always do bits on the circuit. Like if I same, but like I think you are going up against the best of the best every weekend, and you you know eventually get to a point where I want to tour and stuff. You will know that tour is ready when you can go on and do twenty minutes of that next to someone like Jeff Innocent or Mick Ferry. Or this is like what that. I always say, and I say it to comics who get off the circuit and go, "Oh, I'm just going to do my own work in progress." It now. shows. I, I I'll sell my own tickets to work in progress because the best way to get that much stage time and do an hour. I'm going to do three sets tonight. I'm going to do probably 50 in this week, all of hot water. And hot water is still a home game for me. There'll be people in who've bought tickets for me. But there's most of them won't have. Most of them will be, oh, there's that guy, or who's that guy? Um, and they don't care. They just want it to be funny. Yeah. And if you smash, it's definitely funny enough. In my head, I did hot water twice on Friday and three times on Saturday. And it was the first time I've closed with this newer set, 2025 or whatever, that's going to have to grow and whatever. And it, I could close and smash over comics doing their best of yeah. forever or their current set doesn't. It was, it's amazing. It's a yeah. great feeling. Because then you go, wait till I get in front of our lot. Yeah. Because yeah. then it'll fucking hoof. Yeah. I'm really excited about this week. Are you still doing new bits tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Can I come down? No. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot's on. No, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm going to go and do hot water twice and that in the middle of it. And all week, just get better, than, like fixing little bits, coming off stage. I'm, I'm writing more now because I've never been a notebook guy. I've never been a let's go and work on that. Yeah. Until I worked on Juicy with Alfie Brown and he was like, it was something you said actually to Alfie. Uh, and I was there when we were talking about sort of how I work on my stuff. Um, you, I, I said, oh, I don't work on my stuff. I just like remember it and try and sort of fix it. And you went, yeah, but you know, it works. Like, you've got where you are and it works. And Alfie went, what if it doesn't? What Work if it's well. meant to be several levels above what it is? Like, he's done amazing. But what if if he actually went and worked on it? There's two levels above where he already is to what he's doing. And then when we worked on Juicy together and spent fucking day after day in the car, Jack, Jack come and seen so many of those, our photographer Jack, I know he's not on camera a lot, um, he come and photographed loads of my work in progress shows before uh, Juicy went out. And he was in the car when Alfie was like, yeah, yeah, it was a good preview tonight, but you did do 47 things wrong and here's what you need to fix. And it made me go, oh, maybe I should stop with this 10-year attitude I've got of, oh, I don't really write stuff down. I just try and figure it out on stage. If I actually go back and go, what, what was wrong about that? What was good about it? Where's the next line? Your ADHD hyper-focus means you can remember, say someone gives you 47 notes, you can remember so many, but over the course of developing a show, Tell me having stuff written down doesn't shore up the cracks. Because I, you, you, I can't work like that without a notes and without mm. just some sort of stock check on the ideas. You can rec recall and retain so much of it, but having it written down as well can only... Yeah. Stuff must be falling through the gaps. Totally. And also it made jokes. I, I changed jokes to different jokes because like Alfie just went... Oh, that joke you do there, not at this bit. Can you just write a better one? Like a different right. simile? Because that simile is not good enough. It's a bit cheap and it's a bit low. And I went, how about this? And he went, yeah, yeah, just that. And he went, you just made the show 10% better by changing that one line. Did right? Because you just, because I made you think about it. A line that you'd have just gone, that gets a laugh, it's fine. I made you go, 
I can write a better joke there. And then you immediately did. He's like, just do that for every bit. <laughs> did, did it help structurally as well, having it written oh, down? Mate, like there, like, you could go, oh, maybe, because I find that with writing sometimes is like, especially like the hour I'm writing now, or so many bits that are good and this and going like, and it, like with something like Juicy, you go, okay, I can do an hour of funny. I want to add an element of, there, there's a cool thing about Edinburgh is like we take the piss out of the theme show. Yeah. But if you can combine that club level hit rate, like you did with Juicy, club level hit rate, interesting story, personal, then it comes a fucking different thing. Yeah, yeah. It comes like, and Daniel Sloss was always really good at that. Daniel Sloss was like the master of going, I'm going to take something about my life, something really personal, make it really funny. And then you're more, you're following like a narrative as well. It, it's so much more, you know, I think it's like a next level two stand up. But like, that's what I'm sort of. He's still doing it, by the way. Daniel Sloss hasn't died. <laughs> like Daniel Soss was really good know, at that, but got, obviously we lost him to he's, that, got, you know. he's got a flight back from New Zealand we'll see how that goes <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was dead last night on that flight coming back from Dublin I swear to God you've had some bad flights recently but yes so there was 17 people and a baby <sighs> on the flight so you thought you were dead well, it was just, am I dead? The baby was looking at me weird, so. It's a hungry baby. 80 people got on the flight. In my head, I was like, right, this Sounds isn't like the, the, the best pilot, is it? Like, he, this is not fucking, this isn't prime time guy. This is like. Yeah, you're not it, getting Open spot. Yeah, he's the open spot pilot. And I was like, right. And then we took off and he went, uh, ladies and gentlemen. But he didn't say this until after we took off. Uh, we've just hit some turbulence and we do expect it to last the entirety of the flight until we uh, start our descent into Liverpool. So please stay in your seats and the uh, staff will come to you. Yeah, the toilets are going to be out of use for the entire flight. Oh, <laughs> it was just dear. fucking constant. Oh, it was fucking grim. 17 people does seem like someone's hired to assassinate you and they're all <laughs> part of it. There's yeah. not enough people there, is there? It was a two is it Ryan Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> 17 so and a baby. Bad, not good. They what? Right now, a bad auntie. Oh yeah. So what are they like? <laughs> Good that someone finally said it. I, I've always thought it. What's your opinions on airplane food, Carl? Oh. Uh, do you know what? Can you, even, you can't even get in the nuts. I'm going to Nashville for you on the way home. Not so far. <laughs> uh, the food that me and Jack had on the way home from New York, honestly, was the worst thing I've ever had in my mouth, and I'm including like Come. eating pussy of the <laughs> worst. <laughs> yeah. Come in your mouth. Yeah. I've had my cum in my mouth, and I'd rather have that again than that chili con carne. <laughs> and it was actually called Adam's I cum. I cum in my own mouth accidentally once. No. Was, you did. I've got a shotgun it's of a so cock. It's so easily done if you don't aim it. If you do that, then... Whew. I've got, like, a shotgun of a dick, so, like, it, it'll go off. So yeah. it's like pellet, like burst. Yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. came up and it's I was... It's got a good spread. <laughs> like an it's got a good From buckshot to slug. <laughs> oh, just but yeah. <laughs> the food we had on the way back from uh, New York, they offered us uh, Hunter's Chicken... Or chili con carne. And I was like, yeah, I have the chili con carne. Carne con means beef. There was no beef in this thing. It was the worst thing I've ever put in my face. Just chili. What was it? Just like a fucking salsa. It was Jack wasn't I'm not exaggerating, am I? It was so like even for airplane food, it was through the fucking floor. Did you how bad it was. What's Hunter's chicken? Uh, it's chicken breast wrapped in bacon yeah. with barbecue sauce. It's great. Oh, you would love you'd it. actually really like it. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Why, Why didn't you go for the hunter's chicken? That sounds way better. Because yeah. I wanted a chili con carne. <laughs> can you say con? <laughs> What's the con? Chili con carne. <laughs> chili con carne. You get a carne <laughs> from? You get a carne from the fair to just come in your chili. It's a chili con carne. <laughs> chili con carne. <laughs> no, oh, stop doing that. No. It's chili con carne. Chili con carne. That's yeah. what I'm saying. No. Chili con carne. <laughs> That's what you're no, I'm not saying carne. I've just I'm spent some carne. time on the continent. <laughs> <laughs> chili con carne. I mean, there's carne. pros and cons. Oh, con. stop oh, saying that. That's God. getting on me tits. Con just means of, doesn't it? Yeah. What was I saying chicken? Isn't it with? You'd say of. Or, or whatever. Chicken wit. Yeah. Con. Chicken with beef. <laughs> chicken <laughs> with <laughs> chicken. Anyway, good looking at him, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't, wait, can't wait to go to Adam's show where it's just him arguing with the audience it's just me going, about how to pronounce hey, food. What's the deal with that? <laughs> What's the deal with chicken kukiani? <laughs> I can't say it, neither can you. Ooh. Uh, where are you doing in Edinburgh? I am doing um, uh, a room that isn't it. It's a nice room. It looks good, but the name is the Delhi Belly, which feels a little bit racially charged. I'm not going to lie. And it's no, like, Delhi Belly just means when you shit yourself in India. No, Delhi Belly's when you get home, isn't it? And you've had no, but bad I, food. I, I thought Delhi Belly was like an actual 
What? Like if you've got Delhi in... Belly, you've been no, somewhere. Delhi you've is a place in India. Yeah. So yeah. What's, what... Delhi Belly is when white people go over and can't handle the food. They, they, they go ham over there, mate. They actually don't book Why would they name the room after that then? Why? Why is that? Full, a... of, sh full of shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're just trying to just rhyme anything with on... belly. <laughs> just call it the underbelly. Here it is. Or oh, something. is it in the underbelly? The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. That yeah, they all just rhyme with belly. Telly belly? Oh, right. Yeah. No. Telly belly? What? Telly belly would work better. <laughs> Why? The... <laughs> As seen on telly? When you put them in there. I thought you were doing yeah. a Taliban job. <laughs> <laughs> Taliban. Uh, they've been attacked I'm by the Taliban. I'm in the Taliban room. <laughs> <laughs> Chili con carne in the telly bellies. I'll tell you what, I don't, I don't agree with a lot of their politics, but their hour is something to behold. <laughs> <laughs> You'd go the and watch the Taliban. The, the, the oh my God. Taliban. The... If you saw that on the board, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Taliban at half one in the big room, you go, oh, let's Elliot, go. Let's me and you get a, a second room and do the Taliban to show. <laughs> the Taliban for an hour oh, of crowd work. It's just Islam-based banter. <laughs> <laughs> the poster's gonna be so horrible. <laughs> the review system's like, how many beheadings out of five did it get? Oh, just Book him. four. Book him. Just four. <laughs> Book him for that. You can't. And goes on to bat. You. Yellow card. I was, I was, you can't that's, argue with that. That's getting rescinded, mate. <laughs> Well, you can go to appeal if you want, but that it was a, a bit of a booking. You're getting your Taliban confused with Saudi Arabian government, mate. <laughs> oh yeah, forget the Taliban. The Taliban. Really Taliban. moderate and never do any beheadings. No, they they they're not nice people. Don't get me wrong. They, you know, they don't want women to learn anything. But you know, but you ride bumper cars. Got some bad points as well. Yeah, the bumper car was good <laughs> PR for them. Yeah, the bumper cars was sick. Bumper cars and like Nerf guns and that, remember that? If that was one of the funniest moments. That, do you know when that happened? When there was like the Taliban in like kayaks and that with old AK 47s? That was the moment where I thought. We're a TV show. W w w the world's glitched. Yeah. Or someone's trying to wind us up. Weren't they on swans? Yeah. 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 They were yeah. like on. Yeah, the when one of them crashes yeah. a toboggan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get it up. Is the telly on? No, put it on. Like, this was honestly the moment where I was like, I think the world might be fucking with us. This might be Truman Show stuff. <laughs> and they might... <laughs> ignore it, ignore it, the yeah. Google. Yeah, yeah, it needs to... Is it on? It's on, yeah. Yeah, go on. Oh. <laughs> In the end zone. What is it? Taliban toboggan. Taliban toboggan. <laughs> <laughs> Come into ITV. <laughs> Can I just say that has lived up to every have a word expectation I had coming up. Here. <laughs> just Taliban go on pictures. Tomorrow. Don't go on YouTube. That was right. a video. He crashes it. Just put Taliban on uh, the it, bumper when you, cars. When you say bumper it's, cars. Not like, it's not like Olympic tobogganing or something. No, they're just, just having a go. Oh, mate. They had so yeah, a fucking belt a week, didn't they? There's them driving around in the bumper Look, cars. Look, they've got AK-47s <laughs> on the bumper cars. <laughs> Yeah, but they've got to have some time off, haven't they? <laughs> so they've, they went just, to they've just reclaimed Afghanistan. No, where are they fuming, though? Because they have to do real jobs. I found that whole thing, that whole week where that happened. And you know on Instagram when someone starts going like, Here, the Taliban have retaken Afghanistan and here's what you can do to help. <laughs> and you click on the thing and it's not a, a link to undergo weapons training in Uzbekistan and like live <laughs> your life out there. It's like, donate your air miles. <laughs> So some people over can get a chili con carne <laughs> on the flight. <laughs> I'll find a toboggan video. It's phenomenal. They are living the best life there in the Taliban. Taliban don't cut heads off, though. They just run countries. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's ISIS, isn't it? The, ta the Taliban don't chop heads off. I didn't think they do In that. the history of the Taliban. Oh, no. They did Ken Bigley. Did they do Ken Bigley, yeah? That was Al-Qaeda. There you go. You're getting them mixed up. I'm sure? not getting them mixed up. It was Al-Qaeda, Ken Bigley. Why are we all ta talking about the Taliban? Like, I think you mean the Liberal <laughs> Democrats, Dan. It's literally like, it's literally like I've gone, it's literally like, you're like Dan, I tell you what, we do some jokes here, chili con carne aside, and I'll slag off ISIS and the Saudi fucking regime, but leave the Taliban. I, like I've gone, Plaid Cymru are doing like stonings in the middle of fucking Clinically Town Centre. All oh, right, then they've done a couple. Oh, course they fucking The exception approves the rule. <laughs> Who like, hasn't done a couple? Exactly. <laughs> oh, so sorry about that. <laughs> was it definitely Al Qaeda who did Ken Bigley? If they did Ken Bigley, then I'm finished with them. <laughs> oh, but you know, that was you. No, done with Al no amount of bumper cars. Oh, I'm, gonna... done. <laughs> I'm done. Not a chance. We're not talking about Al Qaeda sort of in cahoots for a while. Though. We've had yeah. this conversation yeah. before, and he got fuming <laughs> because, like, the Taliban, like, were they didn't do 9/11, but they were happy about it. Al Qaeda. Yeah. Al yeah. 
to, yeah, Al Qaeda are a bit more of the like fanatical faction of it. Okay. I thought. Yeah. ISIS hate Al Qaeda are a terrorist organization. ISIS are a terrorist organization. Taliban are not the a gov- terrorist the government organ- organization. They're just they basically they they try and run countries. ISIS hate the Taliban. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. the Taliban's helping uh, the U.S. government fight ISIS. Well, not purposely, but it's the same common enemy. Is it like a Peaky Blinders when they have a little like little then, we no, will fight for a bit? But it's not as simple as that. Let's kill them and then we'll fight yeah, each it's other. It's a common enemy. It's no, no, but not. You're, it's too broad a brushstroke. That that's not how it is. Well, they're both fighting the same person. What? The Taliban are fighting ISIS, and you know the US are always. Fighting the ISIS, they're like the the absolute hardline ultras, aren't they? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. You ever seen and Americans? The liberal talk Democrats. About, sorry, go on. So you ever seen Americans talk about football? Like soccer. Yeah, and they're getting every, like, and they don't quite know what the teams yeah. are. Yeah. That's, That's exactly what this is right now. Yeah, I love it how we're like, lads, don't Google this. We'll work this out together. <laughs> nah, 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 just go off what you know. Throw some shit out. Taliban there. Titans. That's what they be called. <laughs> I cannot they wait. have a great ultra scene. The Al-Qaeda yeah. albatrosses. Albatrosses. Wait. What would ISIS be? I, the what? The ISIS Icelands. <laughs> just frozen food. <laughs> The Iceland, um, the no, Ips- 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 not Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> the Iceland ISIS members. The ISIS ISIS hopes. I don't know what an ice is. Ice perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's in, it's in Spring, Spring, Springfield ice and Um well, I can't. Fun. I'm looking forward to your show, Taliban, <laughs> <laughs> with a Z at the end, the kids show. <laughs> hey, Come on. hey, we didn't do Ken Bigley. <laughs> Come on. That's an Alistair Green. Down. It's Alistair Green if I've ever seen him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do Ken Bailey. <laughs> hey. Remember him? God. What's your show called, Elliot? Love and Hate Speech. Nice. Yeah, yeah that's I, I should have called it Nepo Baby, but it was too late. Yeah, stuff right. had been sent and I was like, oh, I'll do that next year. Yeah, but I was—I would have loved to have called it. What, 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 uh, is there a theme or have you just gone with a nice title? Yeah, I, I kind of think... Um, well, the show's sort of about why I have a dark sense of humor a little bit. Mm. And uh, people always conflate that for hate. But yeah. a lot of the time you have a dark sense of humor because it's love. Like I don't like, I, don't, I know there's like all this thing with masculinity and stuff at the minute, but I hate being hugged and told I'm all right. Like I got uh, I got kneading the balls at jujitsu really hard. Yeah. And uh, had to, I left it for three days. Mm. And so I, I went to the hospital after three days and I went and gigged like the whole time. And it was sore. it was awful. And I was throwing up at the gigs and stuff, but I was training for a tournament and I put myself, cause I'm an idiot and listen to Dave Goggins and people like that. <laughs> I sometimes think I could be that guy. Yeah, don't just run one marathon, do six. Yeah. He's Forget- so insane. Forgetting that I am a Radio 4 person's son. I'm like, no, I could be a Navy SEAL if I really put my mind to it. <laughs> and then so I went- So you got kicked in the balls, you need- were like in training. I- yeah, so uh, I went with this lad and he threw a, a knee up, <laughs> which you're not allowed to do. And I sprawled because I thought he was trying to take me down. So I've sprawled and just gone into it and oh. fallen down and immediately started screaming, uh, started vomiting. But I thought I'll be all right. I'll take three days off. I'll take three days off. So I went down, did like gigs in Bath and stuff. And I had to stay down there because it was so, like, I couldn't get the train back. I was in so much pain. The next day I sort of left there at night. I went, right, we'll go to the hospital. Went to the hospital and thought it will be okay. And I went in and an actual medical professional said the words when he took my trousers down and looked, went, holy fuck, dude, why didn't you come here sooner? Oh, and, I, 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 I leave. and I was like, oh no. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. So <laughs> they then, yeah. so, and like, I'm not, I'm not joking. It was like, not to be too graphic, like this Coke can here. Your dick it, or your balls? My balls, my, my right testicle. What color? Purple. Oh, oh. me. Yeah. Yeah. Got balls are purple anyway. What? Uh, uh, you got purple bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you, you might want to go to the hospital. <laughs> yeah, but every medical professional that's ever seen his dick has gone, holy <laughs> fuck. Oh, oh, he's got his bollocks out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got purple balls. You haven't? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Say that so knowingly. <laughs> you, ha- you haven't. <laughs> you haven't? Have You've got purple bollocks. They're not like bright purple, but there's like a, like if you were a, a Dulux color chart, it's on the purple piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Your purple piece of paper. That's uh, funny, and would you, you like know? to go for lavender spring or Adam's bollocks? <laughs> what one? Um, they should have like a vein and stuff that would maybe get a bit of tinge. No, my balls are purple and my veins are blue. <laughs> <laughs> 
Det er country song. Det er country song. My ball er purple and my brain. Honky donk in the burp. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah he, he sort of looked at it and then was uh, like, you need to do immediate blood tests and urine tests now. I did oh. them and they were or fine. Finish finished this story. Yeah, and uh, they were fine. And then he went, you need to go for an ultrasound. But our ultrasound, <laughs> ultrasound, well, yeah, I was like, what do I need? He's like, you need one. And I was like, cool, when we're doing it. He was like, oh, our ultrasound department shuts on Sunday because these scientists respect the Sabbath, apparently. <laughs> so I had to come back in the next day. But because they'd sent me home, I thought, oh, they're just going to give me some pain medication. Go rest and it will be fine. So I go and get the ultrasound. They, sat, they scan the left testicle. All good. Text the testicle. <laughs> yeah. Who's the mum? <laughs> I'm in there putting the jelly on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it, it was a precarious situation, <laughs> and I was just sort of making jokes about it, and they were laughing. They start scanning the right one, and the vibe in the room shifted, and that's when I was like, was "Making me sick." Fuck. Yeah. I was like, "Fuck," because they weren't bantering with me, and then any time I asked a question, they wouldn't answer. Was it critical testicle? Were you? Uh, they were saying things like 57, 58 there, uh, torsion, and things like that. Torsion and means like muscle ripped on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've ripped your bollocks. 57, so, 58. Oh, so they God. then have to, I have to go down Did to. Did you nearly lose your testicle? Oh, wow. I'll tell you what happens. My God. I go down to the, to where the doctor is, wait Sorry, an hour. I've just remembered something and I'll forget if I don't yeah. say it right now. One of my best mates growing up, uh, he had one of his balls cut off for one reason or another. Um, Not important. <laughs> and then uh, we got we had a fight one time and I kicked him in the balls and he went, ah, you missed, you hit me gap. <laughs> 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 I just remembered that now. <laughs> there, mate. Always <laughs> kick to the left, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Do the research. He, he used to get bullied for it all the time. He got called like Hitler and one bollock Adam and stuff like that. And then one time I just kicked him and he went, ah, I missed. Don't say his gap. name, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't say his name. His name's Adam. Okay. One bollock Adam. <laughs> Shout out one bollock so Adam. So when someone's telling us like this, can you feel your bollocks? Uh, they're in me neck. Yeah, yeah can, like, you can feel Not me throat. Yeah. But they're in me neck. But that would have changed yeah. the mood oh. in the room as well. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, sorry, sorry. Go on, go on, you go. No, the pain when it happened was so bad. You know that, that grace period, your body does that weird thing where it's like- 10 seconds. Yeah, you're, oh no, you're hard as nails. That didn't hurt you. And then it's like, ah, gotcha. There, there was none of that. It was immediate- sh like I was screaming, but I wasn't in control of the screaming. This my body doesn't, so it doesn't feel like my body's going, you're hard as nails. It's like when I get kicked in the balls like that, that gap, it, it feels to me like my balls are going, are you ready for this? Yeah. Wow. Just prepare yourself because this is going to be the worst thing you've ever felt. Are you ready? I can't hold it any longer. Three, two, one, yeah. two. And then it's not like floor. you're hard, you lad. Yeah, <laughs> this is not going to be a problem for either of us. <laughs> We're both, do you know what? We're both just going to crack on my hard afternoon. Like my balls and my brain are very well aware that the evening is over. <laughs> <laughs> My balls are just going, lad, just so you know, we're fucked. We're fucked, okay? Just give yourself five seconds. because they deep, innit? Enjoy yeah. these five seconds because like they're going to be, be the best five seconds of the next three days. You oh. Ready? Three, two, one, and here we go. Team Pain forever. It's, belly, it's one of them yeah. pains that sort of, it, I'm it not even so, it, it like, grow up, you're like, oh, that's bad. And it comes in waves. You're like, oh, no. And you go, oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's in your stomach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't, I I couldn't leave the gym for like two hours afterwards. I was just lying on the mat, just lying there. Just fucked, and I was I was eventually able to get off the mat to go throw up because the pain was so intense. But like I said, I'm a moron. Like so, I'm going. I'll be okay. I'll just leave, I'll get home and put some ice on it, and it'll be fine. So three days later, I'm going down after my ultrasound to meet the doctor. <laughs> and the thing with doctors and NHS workers, did you pop bo your balls on ice? Yeah. I bet you scream, got, man. I, You're like, oh, won't be doing that again. From from Bath Comedia, <laughs> I got a Stein cup full of ice and dipped my balls into them back in the flat. <laughs> I was like, I, I, it was so much pain that it would like. <laughs> oh, won't be doing that again. <laughs> so I get, so I go down to see the doctor, and the <laughs> doctors have to like they see the worst that the world has to offer, so they're a little bit hardened to things. So I walk in, yeah. and he literally doesn't even look up from his notes, and he goes, "You can lead a perfectly normal life with one testicle." <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I, I, I was like, no, 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 have, have a seat, you. cup of water. And the, the nurse is there and she's trying to be a human being about it. And I swear to God, she was like, so there, she's there going to me, we got to make an incision on your scrotum. I'll admit this. My God. I said, why do you have to go through the top of my dick? 
turns out I don't know where the scrotum is. <laughs> Why were you guys above your dick? I thought it was above my dick. I thought it was like a bit of the penis. So I was there like, why are you going through the top of my dick? And they're both like, maybe if this guy can't breathe, that's not such a bad thing. Scrotum <laughs> <laughs> like, is your ball, sir. Yeah, well, I, well I found that out when they drew an yeah. arrow on it. We're going to go through your scrotum. <laughs> on my arm. <laughs> oh, why are they brain surgery? <laughs> <laughs> the story's making yeah, my I need to know head. the protagonist is okay. Audio. Yeah, so, so he... He looks me in the eyes and he goes, there's a 5% chance of chronic scrotal pain, right? Oh, my God. Oh, 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 your balls all, all your life. Hurt. One Five. in 20. Oh. So I'm... You were like, I, oh, I ate toothache. <laughs> 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 and he's like, he's there going, dude, 5% isn't a lot. And I'm like, man, you should see some of the accumulators I put on. Because 5% <laughs> is a fucking lot. <laughs> All right? If, I've got a five, if that hacker's got a 5% chance coming in, my weekend's great. <laughs> and the nurse, I swear to God, she can see me like... I'm starting to freak out. Because uh, I've just been hit. You're having surgery. We're doing this. There's no other option. You're up next in the surgery room. The doctor's a robot, so he's just telling me this stuff like, oh, I've got, like sort of like a guy who's about to do an MOT or something. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got to check this because he do, does it all the time. I'm freaking out. The nurse generally went, hey, women love a good scar story. No, she's coming on to you I, there. And <laughs> I was like, not on your scroll. I was like. How am I going to show this to a woman? She was DCF, mate. In a funny. bar yeah. without her asking for Angela. <laughs> like, how is this ever going to come about? And also, like, what am I going to say? Oh, yeah, a teenager in Croydon did it to me. <laughs> the, the whole thing was just, you know, you know when... your name's Angela. Can you get a job in a bar? <laughs> I've always wondered that. Is Angela in? Yeah, that's what I'm going to for you. No, <laughs> I've wondered that. Yeah. What do you do? Because there must be loads of landladies called Angela. There must be loads. <laughs> it's an old woman's name, isn't it? It is. Fact and old people own pubs anyway. anyway. <laughs> How disappointing would that be if you're there with a guy who you're genuinely worried about being abused by and you go, Can I speak to Angela? and someone goes, Yeah, two seconds, and then an old woman goes, Hello, love, my name's Angela. Also, <laughs> it's such a common known thing now that the man would just be like, What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were getting me a pint, yeah, yeah. change the name. Um, here's a question Do you know if you did have one more? Yeah, do you reckon women would notice? Well, they'd put a fake one in. Nobody, even if they didn't? No. No. Not like they noticed. You'd never be able to teabag again. Why? It's just a, you need both balls, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do a wonky teabag. What, do you? Hang on, do you know when you get rhino? What about the goggles? Is it still rhino up on that side? Say that again. Do you know when you get rhino sack? Yeah. Does it still rhino up on both sides? Or is one of them like flat? What's rhinos? Oh. Where, you, where your balls like, you know, like when the, the wheels of a plane go in? solid. And they go all like rough. When you're cold. They go like they go like an elephant's trunk, like texture. And they're in. Right. And then you get fuzzy dick. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fizz yeah. dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rhino sack is the, right. the complementary to that. <laughs> It'd help though, wouldn't it? Because it's still like puffed on both up. Or there's one flat. <laughs> yeah. And we just discussed the <laughs> Taliban. <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> Just checking because they need notice. Is your ball all right? Kind of. Um, oh, oh, God, so I, I went in for the, the surgery. But, oh, my point was was that uh, I, I didn't want to tell my mum or dad I was going in for the surgery because I know they would care. I know they would be like, oh, my God. Fucking this is joking, aren't you, would they? You, <laughs> they, would, they would like, I, I can't deal with that sort of like, are you going to be all right this? So I told my lads comedian WhatsApp group, and it was the yeah. fucking best day of their lives. And they're all friendly, supportive guys. I know those guys. Yeah. Oh, not an ounce of sympathy, but that then made it funny to me. Yeah. And I was able to process what was happening because they were being assholes. Because they were like just taking a piss that I was immediately like, all right, this is now a funny story. So I went in for the surgery. Is it local anesthetic or general? Oh, I think it was a uh, general. Did you get put asleep? Yeah, 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 I got put put asleep. Yeah, you don't want to watch someone deal with your balls, do you? Depends what she's doing. I oh, know, not locally. <laughs> An operation on your balls. I want to be fast off, asleep. Go, <laughs> Did you stay in this country or get turkey balls? <laughs> Lot always go turkey for your balls. Yeah, the, the hair on fuck it's growing em, amazingly. <laughs> <laughs> Big old fucking bodrum balls. So they put you a kip and then you start working on your bollocks. Well, before... Okay, because I thought I was losing the testicle, right? I... Right. If, you like, didn't make a sample. No, okay, so you, have, you, have you ever had like a family pet put down? <laughs> he yeah. wants to give it one last walk. Right, yeah, like one <laughs> last stroke. You give it one last, like, yeah. wig. Yeah, yeah. What did you do with it? Well, you I, come? I went, I went and jerked off. You're bollocks, though, aren't you? 
Well, you not. Ju- I went in full. I'll give it one last. Oh, one last. Go on, lad. Like a sort of, you know. Yeah. A nice meal. A full meal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like Matt, I'm looking at this testicle like George before he shoots Lenny. Like fuck, <laughs> this is this is guy. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, just I think of the Czechoslovakian woman on your phone, like, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm sorry for the graphicness of this. I, oh. It was like something out of a Ramstein video. I came so much blood, right? Like oh, loads. Oh, oh no! Like you know that scene from The Shining where the elevator. Like oh. that level, I, I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. And so I immediately go back down and was like, oh. fucking we need to do this surgery. Like, the, yeah. it's Where were a, you wanking? Uh, oh, just out in the corridor. You know, <laughs> I'd let them know what was that. No, I went into the, into the toilets. You wanked in the hospital? Well, I clapped on a Thursday. <laughs> 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 That's how the, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mate. You know, I pay my national insurance car. Fucking. He just blows in a hospital. Oh. Yeah, I cleared oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> I cleared I'm not a monster. I cleared, and oh, then. Uh, that must have been an horrible consistency. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't really I too focused on, uh, on the consistency of it. I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> properly got to me sick. Viscous blood. Uh, with jizz in it. So uh, I went up, I had the surgery. Now, what had uh, happened? Oh, I'll spare you the medical detail because I can say No, you it, haven't. Right? <laughs> I'll spare you the rest of it. Turning it was cut- soggy biscuit into a jam wagon wheel. <laughs> oh, oh, my damn. God. What are you doing? Oh. Wagon wheel. <laughs> Don't start singing it. <laughs> Don't ruin Luke Combs. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realise we were using a jammy dodger. We weren't. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Same though, it's a jam. You must have come, Jam. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. So the, the did it hurt when you come? Uh, no, the immediate shock of what so was happening. Pick up line. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you love? Did it hurt when you come? <laughs> Why? Because you know. <laughs> you fell from heaven and then come. Because <laughs> you know, falling from heaven. <laughs> if I show up, lad, would you be? <laughs> when you come. <laughs> Is your dad a jeweler? <laughs> when you come. <laughs> Hello, baby. <coughs> Please tell me you've saved your second testy. Yeah, so it's it. they had to remove a little bit, but it's all right. They were like, and the way they explained it to me when I went for my, my checkup a few months later is the guy literally grabbed a piece of paper and he went, you see this piece of paper? I went, yeah. He scrunched it up and then unraveled it and went, it's still a piece of paper. It's just a scrunched up piece of paper. And I was like, oh. Thank you for this beautiful analogy, doctor. <laughs> um, but what was really funny was after the surgery- And that's and your balls is scrunched up? Your well, one of, them, one of them, just like, the t- it's fine, it works, it's all good. Can you feel it? But it's scrunched up. Uh, I, after post-surgery, I swear to God, so they give you codeine, laxative and antibiotic because they have to what give you- night? They have to give you- <laughs> <laughs> So the codeine's for the pain, but name. that blocks you up. <laughs> but the laxative is then to relieve you. The problem is because of where the scar was, I was like, oh, I don't really want to be on the laxative, so I won't take the codeine. <laughs> and I swear to God, have you ever heard of like phantom limb? Yeah, me mum had it. My right. mum had one leg, she'd get like itchy toes on a foot that wasn't there. I swear I had phantom bit of bollock. Like I could feel, like it was like, I can't describe it. It's like I could feel a little bit, but it wasn't there. Like it was the bit that had been removed, but I could feel it like. Phantom bollock pain. <laughs> yeah, like I could feel. But you had the bollock. <laughs> That's just bollock pain. No, no, it was, I can't, I, I know, I know, but if you had it, if yeah, there was a yeah, way yeah. to... Oh, I've got give... phantom face it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got it. <laughs> oh, God. But the, the surgeon was like to me, after the thing, he was going, yeah, you know, he, I'm, I'm really grateful to this guy. Like, I really am. But he was like, oh, when we, when we scanned you, one of the things we were really worried about was like, actually, it was a pretty normal surgery. It was fine. It wasn't as bad as we first thought. The problem was, was on the scan, was there was a lot of blood. And we, we couldn't quite like see to the extent of the trauma and know about it. But then when we opened you up, there was less, there was, there was less blood. And Aye. I had to just sit there and be like, God works in mysterious ways, <laughs> don't he? Like, it's mad how that happened. Oh, <laughs> like, oh he just it out. <laughs> oh. He just his bollocks better. So that, sa- that kind of, I think that in some way, jerking off saved my life. 
Well, not that I want to save my testicle a little bit. Because I think if they opened me up, they weren't aware to the extent of the damage that had been done in there. Oh, it's making my balls hurt. Elliot. Oh, God. I consider you a really good friend. And it's a pleasure to have you here. That is... We've been... What episode number is this? 220... Something. 223, is it? And really? about 120... No, more. Pa- about 150, no. 150 patrons. So nearly 400 episodes of this podcast. And that is without any shadow of a doubt the worst 20 minutes I've ever had on it. <laughs> yeah, my boy. I'm so it. glad that that story's over. <laughs> and it was good though. Well, it, was, no, it, was, it was really good. <laughs> like, it's going to be really good content. I just wish I wasn't here for it. <laughs> yeah. I, I apologize to the listeners. That, but this is my truth. I'll I need five look. minutes. We're not uh, doing the next section straight away. I, 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 I need to lie down. The, I won't get if the, the post recovery was worse than that story. I won't tell you about that. that just was... quick question. Maybe, maybe I'm being thick. If you lose one of these testicles, do you jizz half as much jizz? Does it work like that? Yeah. Google. I and guess I guess it would do. It's where you store all the jizz, isn't it? So if you lose one, you've got half. I don't know. I think. It, or I think does Lefty turn up? Or does I, I don't only one of your balls work at a time? That's why I think. Yeah. So like I on a Tuesday, your like, your left balls doing its job. They do shift work. They yeah, do, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure didn't know work. that. Holy shit! Yeah. Decreased semen production and quality, but it's still it's still enough. Yeah. So it says. Oh. Yeah, but go. they do shifts. Right. So left is like, oh, fuck, man, he's left now. I'm I never do Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> he's got him, his mate's fucking quit. Hey, mate, do you mind closing up? I've got to <laughs> yeah, shoot yeah. off. My right, right he's like, season ticket, so he doesn't do Saturday. Right, he's like, like cover me Saturday. I'm all fucking out with the boys. Yeah, the, the post, uh, the, the recovery yeah, uh, I can imagine it was, was pretty dark. awful. I, I can feel, because I've got, um, I, I uh, a while back, I had epididymitis, which is a, an inflamed cum pipe on the left <laughs> testicle. Um... <laughs> is that is that the medical term? Epididymitis. Epididymitis. Epi- 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 oh, right. They went. Oh, you've got. When they said Bidi- you've got. Bidi- Bidi- when the doctor Bidi- told me I had it, he said you've got an inflamed cum pipe on your left testicle. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said that sentence. He works in the. He said it can be caused by STDs, but we've checked it and you haven't got any. He works around the corner on the street. Round the back alley. Yeah, twenty quid cash and Doctor John. Inflamed cum pipe. That, but I can't see the difference. Adam's bragging. He's gone private. <laughs> <laughs> but when when I have a wank, I know whether it's come out of my left testicle or my right by whether it hurts a bit. Really? When it comes like last night before I went to sleep, it was me lefty doing the job because I was like, oh. Well, ladies, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you've enjoyed this section. <laughs> Let's have a little wank break. <laughs> now then, ladies and gents, time to tell you about my actual absolute favorite sponsor. It's manscaped.com. Now listen, just over a month now until Father's Day, Sunday the 18th of June. If you haven't already marked that on your calendar, what are you doing with your life? I guarantee you right now, you are yet to buy your dad his Father's Day gift. And I'm telling you right now, do you know what your dad needs more than anything else? He needs better looking balls, a better (laughs) looking cock. Your dad, just like you, wants to be sucked off. And your mum is not going to do that if he's got hairy, you know. Help your dad get sucked off by your mum by going to... Man- is that what you're saying? Is that yeah. the gist? By going to manscaped.com and getting the amazing lawnmower 4.0. The performance the t- package 4.0. Oh, the whole thing. Get the performance package because you get some undies. You ball know, you get deodorant. The preserver, the ball deodorant. There's loads of stuff. You get the get the weed whacker for your nose and your ears. Oh, yeah. Let, let your dad be less hairy and let him get... His balls drained this Father's Day. <laughs> That's the best gift you can give him. You trim the pubes. If anything, it's more of a present for your ma. She's going to have to suck them off. So why don't you help her enjoy the experience more? And if you use the promo code WEIRD20, you get 20% yeah. off and free shipping worldwide. Now, just to be clear, when you buy the Manscaped pr- package, the total performance package, you don't have to actually shave your dad's pubes, do you? No. He does that. He does that. All right, because I don't want to lose sales. And you don't have to suck them off. That's your mum's job right, or great. his mistress, you know? Uh, people do cheat. Help your dad cheat on your mum. <laughs> Get this 20% off stuff. and free shipping with the code WORD20 at manscaped.com. Or just get it for yourself and get yourself sucked off. Yeah, sort your balls out, mate. Come on. Uh, last section. Oh, I don't know. I, yeah. You always do that, don't you? Fourth section Fourth of four. Fourth section of four. What are you drinking there, Dan? For the mathematicians. Um, sneak. <laughs> it's wicked. What's it taste like? Mmm, lemons and goges. Like lemons <laughs> or like lemon sweets? <laughs> Tastes like lemon. Sorbet. I can smell lemons. 
<laughs> it's a call forward to the Nashville special. Um, Very rare in the in the entertainment industry. That <laughs> call, <sneak>. call forward. <laughs> sneak. Doing callbacks of jokes I haven't seen for two months. Uh, S- sneak. What's the code word? Uh, we don't have a code. Just go on uh, the press the link. The link in the description, and it'll take you to Sneak, so and they know fast. we've sent you. Be fast. I think it's changed, but yeah. Don't do that anymore. Sneak. It's <laughs> really good. <laughs> How are your Monday afternoons? <laughs> Miss Cocaine? <laughs> sneak. <laughs> I, uh, my ADHD is gone today. I am, I am, I'm not even here anymore, so I hope this... Uh, I can see Okay, I've got some, I've got some uh, stuff to kind of keep you occupied, hopefully. Oh, Isn't it remarkable... Today? That in the face of that, we have consistently done the longest form podcast of anyone in the UK for three years. Well, this podcast is essentially press and play on one of our ADHDs and open for the best, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like, we, our, our job is to not stick on top How of it. How long did it? But s- to go as the other rogue as you the, possibly <laughs> can, isn't it? The other person doing the brush with the camera. How long did we used to do when we started when it was just... Was it an hour and a half we tried for? Was, uh, it, we, was it three half hours? You don't remember this, but initially you wanted to keep it to about 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, yeah. And I said I wanted it to be at least an hour every episode. <laughs> that was two and a half, pushing three. Dame Baptiste was three hours. 20, when we were discussing building it? No. Yeah. Adam, he's right. Mm. Genuinely, he's right. I promise you he's right. What What do you mean? I remember I remember having the conversation with him saying that to you when I started. You were like, yeah, I want to give a... When? When we started, you wanted it to be about 40 minutes. I'll, I'll have messages on WhatsApp from where we were discussing it. Receipts, lad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I remember us having a conversation when I was like, let's try and be... We never kept it less long. than an hour. No, yeah. we Because we, I went, let's try and make it at least an hour. Well, fuck it. I, can't, I cannot believe that. We can't... Sometimes our sections are 40 minutes. Yeah, that last bloated. one was 50. It's bloated now. <laughs> Elliot's still here, by the way. <laughs> How we doing? Just having an <laughs> argument about the format. Finn. Right. Oh, no, it's fun, <laughs> fun, to, fun to watch live. <laughs> having, having an argument about our format that we agreed three and a half years ago. <laughs> so this is from Steve O'Hare. He says, all right, lads, my mate has a list of questions. He asks to any new person he meets to decide whether he'll get along with them or not from the jump, usually over a few drinks. Are these questions genius or just a way to be too nosy about shit that doesn't Depends matter? Depends what the questions are. So it. I've got the questions. This feels oh. similar to what Carl does. I've watched Carl meet people on a night out and he asks very deep questions from the get-go. These aren't quite as deep. So number one, how do you eat a cream egg? I don't. I don't, don't like them. What? They give me headaches. Oh, mate, they're the best. They, they no. like tickle me throat it's and not in a good way. It's like a... A smoky sensation on the back of my neck. It's too much sugar in concentrated oh, place. I, I lick them. it out like a veteran lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, just bite, you, know. you bite the head off or do you go for a I don't know bite? if you know much about lesbianism. Can I, can I just check? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're thinking about praying mantises. <laughs> oh, it's a classic, classic old thing. Lesbians bite the head off their partner and then they go to town. <laughs> you, li- you literally... <laughs> <laughs> like a praying mantis <laughs> getting rid of its mate. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't... Uh, you lick a cream egg out like a veteran lesbian. Question, just for s- semantics here. Man, I've got are the you same the, hairstyle. Are what? you the veteran lesbian or is the cream egg the veteran lesbian? You said you lick it out like a veteran lesbian. So are you the veteran lesbian who knows what it's doing or are you like, this yeah, cream egg is a veteran the lesbian? The cream egg's always I like... Better, I better go to a pussy The cream town egg's always it. like, oh my God, this is a mistake. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I'll lose all my friends. <laughs> I know the kid the bueno. I bite the back off and lick it out. Like, you don't know what lesbians either, but you, you like bite the bottom off, lick it out. But I, don't. I know what you mean. Yeah. 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 But I don't like cream eggs the too Okay, much. right. Number two, do you yeah. have socks on to sleep? No, because I'm not a paedophile. <laughs> <laughs> you're meant to. It's better for circulation. Oh, fuck off. But do you? What? Uh, occasionally. It's better for the circulation of indecent images to children. <laughs> 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 That's not what he meant. Uh, you keep this to 45 minutes. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> no, shut off. What do you mean? It's not. I can't, I, can't believe you, I can't believe you didn't want this going over an hour. <laughs> do you wear turns flight out socks? three was right. <laughs> do you wear flight socks in bed? Don't no, socks stop. It, it's better for you. It's better for the circulation. I'm just repeating. Otherwise, we would have evolved socks. No. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Hard hat. Hang go. on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We're onto something here. We're absolutely onto something here. Anything you actually need, we would have evolved. <laughs> Anything that's better for you, we would evolve eventually. Correct. 
That's what. That's, that's what, what evolution uh, is. But Darwin said, lads. That's yeah. not. That's not a that's natural Charlie selection. Charlie was banging works. his fucking drum about <laughs> at a wigger away game. <laughs> 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 Anything we need, we will evolve eventually. He's so boring. I don't away games. Let's do a chant about evolution. Leave it, Charles. It's dull. Trying to make up a chant about giraffes' necks being longer so they can access things. Getting that going down the pub to get everyone in the mood. You're telling me we evolved opposable thumbs, but we haven't invented socks. We have invented socks. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Oh, what? 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 You know what? what I meant. What? You know what I meant. <laughs> We've evolved opposable thumbs so we can pick stuff up like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah otherwise, yeah, 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 yeah. you barely even picked that up. I know exactly. I can't, what an awful like. Look at. <laughs> I'm, you know, and I could have gripped that. <laughs> no, but we, would have, we couldn't have, have played like, uh, FIFA. What about hard thumbs? hats? We wouldn't be involved them as well, then. You could no, argue you don't need a hard hat. No, but it, it you don't need you socks. You don't need socks. It what? helps. That's what he said. It just helps, it with, helps circulation. with circulation. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Bollocks. Well, what, Charles Darwin's a fucking Wigan fan, and this is bullshit. <laughs> what, why are you wearing socks right now, then? Because well, he... To stop your feet sweating. Because he shoes. didn't evolve them. But that's that's what I mean. So why, why is it that you'd wear them through one part of the day and not the other? Because I don't want to be hot in bed, because it makes me feel trapped. <laughs> but I think it's, I think it's there because uh, it helps with the blood flow, because your feet are where most of the cold escapes from. I think. No, you wear socks, so your feet don't sweat in your shoes. What about your head, though? That's why you wear slippers. Like, uh, you wear socks on your head. <laughs> no, but aren't you? Don't you lose a lot of? But apparently, your head's got to be cooler to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, but then no, uh, but your feet. I have don't. to be freezing to sleep. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind socks in bed. This is, by the way, I'm just repeating something my hippie girlfriend says that changes oh, weekly. Can't be listening to like her. Uh, Does she on... wear socks in bed? Yeah. So you just copied? Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty she wears much. socks on her feet and hands and elbows and her knees. <laughs> she said it, and then I just never, I'm just like, well, you read books, so I'm going to assume <laughs> what you say is correct. Depends on the book, though, doesn't it? Where's all... Wally? We've all read it. <laughs> they wear socks. I used to have a Beano she subscription. Wears... I wouldn't go listening to me about socks either. <laughs> subscription, did you really? I had a Beano. Yeah, I used to get it every week. How old? I can't remember. The 18. Um, I, uh, it was great. I had a limerick <laughs> printed in it as well. <laughs> You're 27? <laughs> what? I had a limerick printed in the video. Oh, 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 he's told yes. us. Oh. He's told us. I had Come a brother on. called Jack who once yeah. got stuck in a sack. He couldn't get out, so we let out his shout, and now he's got a bad back. And I've been to a bat mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> so that last go. line doesn't scan. Why? Needs to be one more syllable, doesn't it? No. I know he's got a really bad back. I'd work better. Imagine Whatever. how much of a cunt you'd have to be to work at the Beano <laughs> and send his limerick back. <laughs> uh, hello from everyone at the Beano. That last line doesn't scan. <laughs> sort that out. You made Dennis cry. Hey, right, right to the dandy, you fucking idiot. Oh, I was it. That's what Dan was the goal for me. Nah, Big man. man. Bash Street Kids. Come on. What's the that? Beano was the fucking one. No, I liked it. But I liked Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace. I liked him. I liked Dennis the Menace. I love throwing there. tomatoes at people's windows, isn't I? I didn't actually do that for a bit. It was sick. Get cooking tomatoes. Fuck off. You're 28. My footy, you fat old cunt. <laughs> Six months ago. Whoa. Last year. <laughs> oh, God. What's the next question right. for you? <laughs> Number four. Question? Oh, yeah. Do you like mashed potato butties? Didn't know that was no. a no. Who's the paedophile now? Lizard. Who's the paedophile now? Is, is that a thing? That's not a thing. I'm hoping he wants us to say that. Because mashed potatoes on a butty doesn't work. It's too soft, oh, soft just, on soft. Chip this butties. Lad yeah. Trying to just get a conversation started. Yeah, bollocks. Yeah, Imagine yeah, it'd yeah. be all right on toast. Mash on better. toast. Mash on toast. Uh, not great. I'm not it, saying it'd it's... be. It would be better just by the mash. laws of yeah, yeah. soft and hard, hard need to go together. Yeah, but it's yeah. still fucking. That they still should like. You know, like when they brought Cliff Richard in because they thought he might be a paedophile because of UC. When they brought him in, they should have offered him mash on toast and gone, do you want that? And if he'd it, they'd have gone, that's it. We've got him. Lock him up. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got him. 20 years. <laughs> we've got him. George Bush. We've got him. Cliff Richard. Want, mission mission accomplished. A plane flies in and lands. Do you want that? Yeah. We won't have it. Come on. I love, the, I love that the idea that there's a courtroom somewhere and a lawyer goes, just uh, one last thing. And he just hands over. <laughs> The person in the stand eats it and he goes, Your Honor, I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> and the jury, the jury just goes, Ooh. Oh, shit. I think every other form of potato <laughs> can like go a... in. <laughs> <laughs> we went through this so many times. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you like mashed potties? Tell me everything <laughs> in the future. Going down every other form of potato 
Chip butties are chip butties, the Chris. Chip butties. I suppose roast potato. Roast potato. That's a lot. Roast potato butties, absolutely yeah. unbelievable. I've never. Did had you one. do you what? ever do a like a roast dinner butty the, the day after? I, no, I just used to have a roast. My mum used to do bread with every meal. Every meal. It's a yeah, we had like a, a plate of bread. So with a roast dinner, I would squash a roast potato no. onto a, a piece of bread. Bit of salt and pepper on it. Bit of brown sauce. The fact that you squashed it, mate, I get it now a little guess, bit yeah. more. Yeah, no, yeah. That makes sense. Like I'm talking about like full fucking. No, no, yeah. you squash it down. So it, it made it like mashed potato. Squash it down. No, but it's got the crust. Get yeah. the, the roast skin, potato. Get the skin of the potato If out you're squashing a roast potato and it goes anything like mash, then you've undercooked your roast potato and you need to sack the person who's made it. That's the button. Uh, yeah. uh, no. Uh, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> ah, you can cook. There we go. You never mentioned it. Nice. There you go. Right, one more. So... Have you ever sucked a toe or had your toe sucked? Oh, yeah, is this what he, is this what he does in conversation? This is what he does in conversation to get conversation going. Yeah, in a club. Just never open with that one though, is it? That's number six. I like, don't do so this, by the way. Slow down. It just sounds like he's really into feet. Because yeah. a lot of questions about like, do you wear socks, do you wear socks? in socks? bed? Would he whack me off with your feet? Yeah, no. oh, there's a his lot. His mate is Quentin Tarantino. He didn't write that. Rob oh, Thomas's yeah. bit about his baby sucking oh, his toe. It's very, very fucking funny. Um, I'm not. I don't need people on my toes. I'm ambivalent about it. Have, have you guys ever got a message of someone asking for pictures of your feet? <laughs> I'd no. sell them if they did, though. Have I, you? How do you think I got these shoes? <laughs> Shut In up, the you, shop? you absolute foot I you bought them from the shop, have you? <laughs> what? Nope. Smooth. Some guy, some guy messaged me because I have like pictures up uh, of like me at jiu-jitsu and stuff. And, like, and your feet you, out? Feet out. He's like, lot. look, I like these pictures of your feet. Can I g get you something, right? And I was like, you can make a wish list and you you get a thing. So I was like, well, I want these shoes. I was like, well, you know, my feet are out. Someone's going to... People have jerked off to me, I imagine. So you're like, I might as well I imagine get... that as well, yeah. I'm a, I, you, you might as well get something for it. Mad. I just like providing a public service. It's like doing a cameo for someone's birthday. Just DM me on Instagram, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> you're more, you're more charitable than me. How many me? pictures? Oh, just the one. And, uh, One pick for a pair of fucking... Yeah, and then um, he was like... It, it got a bit weird, right? Because he was like, oh, you can also send me, like... He was, he was, like, into this weird sub thing where he was going, you can send me, like, homophobic abuse and stuff. And I was like, mate, I'm not, I'm not going to accept money. Can I have his Instagram account? <laughs> I was like, dude, beat me on FIFA. I'll yell that down the PlayStation at you for free. <laughs> <laughs> what a great way to get cancelled in 2023. If he just screenshots all the abuse. That's what, and that's you were like, he said was. he'd pay for trainees. <laughs> that's what my fool was. I was fool. What if this DM conversation gets leaked? It's already bad enough. But when I'm there going, oh, no, he was into that. <laughs> he Keep him on retainer. Pardon? Keep him on retainer. Yeah, and then so, but I was away when the shoes arrived. So, like, the conversation had been me, like, discussing this and him being, like, all sub about it. And then because I was away, I had to, like, message back, like, oh, hey, mate, you haven't got the, the tracking ID oh, <laughs> for that post service. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. they've delivered the You haven't sent it by a Hermes, have you? <laughs> oh, this is real homophobic abuse. I'm not doing this because you like it. I actually hate you now, you fucking... So I then... <laughs> 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 if you say that you're dead, that's you. Yeah, I didn't say I don't know numpty. any homophobic slurs. That's would, what I said. Numpty. numpty. Would you have done? You'd, I'd absolutely do it. Would you do it? Heart beat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you want to buy pictures of my feet for actual money, what's Go. your price? What, like twenty quid per what? toe. Per toe. Oh. oh. That's Ooh. how he like, gets you. You're like putting like blares over yeah. your toes when you send forty quid. You'll be you whole tip. foot. 150 quid. I, lo I love that oh, in a few my weeks. My feet are disgusting. Two no for two feet. feet mate. Oh, it's discount. So economies it's of scale. A, it's a hundred pound for a picture of the toes. It's not the whole foot. Yeah. Oh, 150 nice. quid, 200 the quid for, for, the, both feet. for both feet. And I'll do something with the feet, like stand on a body or something for like uh, three on. I love the fact that you're going to be in here next week going, so if you have a word 20 at the, on the OnlyFans, you get 20% off my foot Go picks. for it. <laughs> Imagine if, you're just, if your new Twitch thing just becomes OnlyFans and you're just a feet thing. Uh, if, I don't give a fuck. I said to Seneca, she can sell pictures of her feet if her face isn't in it. If she wants to. If if someone's stupid enough to do and that. If any, and that's an easier picture to take than with her face. It's not what I meant, is it? No, but to be fair, Get that on the wide lens, there, lad. <laughs> to be fair, she's she's very bendy. She's supple. supple. You know? She is a supple lady. She's always... I Former gymnast. <laughs> yeah, telling me. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Gold medal. I couldn't believe when they turned up. <laughs> 
I show her all these, by the way. Olympic. <laughs> she can get more than just a face and a feet pick. Anyway, <laughs> Elliot, <laughs> carry on. But yeah, it was just, I was just like, yeah, all right, then, mate, you can have it. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's it. But I don't know. 250 quid a pop, I'll do feet picks. Bum all, you're looking at a grand. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both together. I'm all about some reels. It's Seneca's camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, with this, I just ask people. Uh, do you reckon? Do you reckon anyone's ever right going to do like a bum pick to send it to someone or sorry, and then like the person would? It must have happened just by the number that someone's going. Hey, I just see something in there. I think you need to go get like checked out. Or something. <laughs> like, surely that's happened where it's been like a doctor or someone who knows something about I medicine. I think this happened to Larry Dean. I think Larry Dean sent like a dick pic to a, a fella, and the fella was like, "You need to get this checked," and then there was something there. It's a lab Bible poster, isn't it? Lad sends a picture of dick. She saves his life because he was like... If oh. I send a foot pic, they're going to go, what's that lump on your left <laughs> Can foot? Can we have a look at your foot? Yeah. Can we have a look Just at your lump? Just show them under the table. Can I have a look at your lump? Oh, can I have a look at your purple testicle? Yeah. <laughs> 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 he didn't even blink. <laughs> <laughs> it's upsetting me, don't it? <laughs> he, he seemed like he'd been waiting a lifetime oh, to be oh, asked that. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. No, I didn't wait. He sorted our life insurance out yesterday. We want to know what your ailments are before yeah. we sign anything. Come on, let's what, have a look. What do you mean? I want to see your lump. What do you, what, I'm, what? Not, I'm not going into a contract with you. Dan, get your lumpy foot out. <laughs> Unless I know what your ailments get are. Get your lumpy foot out. It's very important. Dan, get your lumpy foot it's out. very important. Dan, get your lumpy foot out. <laughs> For that life insurance. The, what lump? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Dan, shut up. <laughs> get your lumpy foot out. I'm not getting lumpy foot out. Get your lumpy foot out. No, I don't want I'll show you my balls. I don't want to see your balls. That's not a good swipe. <laughs> okay, get your lumpy foot out, or I'll show you my balls. <laughs> oh, oh, better. Wow. Oh. Come on. No, I don't want to get my lumpy foot out. Please. I want to see it. But it can't be foot picked. Okay, can I just see it? Come on. Go on. Yes, well in, Dan. Everyone applauds. We can't not do it. Well done, Dan. Well in, Dan. This is, you're so brave. Thank you. Right, Adam, right. react. So is, no, take your foot off. He's taking his shoe off. Fuck it. He's taking his shoe off. Audio listeners, you're just going to have to imagine. Or you just watch the Adam. YouTube. Oh, shit. Oh, Adam, Adam's mouth is, uh, oh, no. is wide open. He's very shocked. Are you messing? Oh, oh, shit. Is it bad? Yeah, Let me have a look. Like Dan, don't put it on there. I don't even want to have a look. What the fuck? Dan, what the fuck? Go to the hospital? <laughs> Who would have thought out of the medical stories told today that your one would trump mine there, Dan? That's incredible. <laughs> Dan! That's been there for how long? It moves, you know. Did you see it move? It waved at me. <clears throat> okay. And that's been there for what, three months? Second pair of these. Yeah, cool. Just I, get, just well, don't I'm, care. Just I don't need a doctors. pension, do I? So I might as well treat myself. <laughs> 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 you know, because I'm going to die. That's scary, Please though. go and get that looked at. That is so much worse than I thought it was. I thought it was just like a, like a white... Like a, like a heat lump. Adam would have cancelled the podcast if he had that on his foot. Yeah. Fully. <coughs> I'm fine. What, what, what Have you gone and got it looked at? No. Wow. He's had it for three months. But why not? Because he's know. a man, isn't he? I, I get where you're... I know what you mean. It's a, gangl it's a ganglion a cyst. Purple testicle for three days. And you know how I know that? Three people tweeted me. <laughs> put it, and put then it one on woman. Really yeah, we had the other woman who. Who was very yeah. serious about yeah. the other woman got in touch and was like, oh, my fella had one of them. And he died three months later. Well, no. Wait, you've, what you've had? But well, it you've had it for I will. Months. Because of her, I am getting it checked. When? You've been saying this for two months. I don't know. Doctor in the CNHS, isn't it? Fuck the Tories. Mm. Maybe it's. Healthcare? I don't know. So what's the next question? We need That's to really take right. the wind out of my sails. <laughs> have we got time for some overrated, underrated, yes, and then yes. have words? Oh, right, okay. Make the most of me. Come Hit on, the let's, <laughs> Dan. Let's make it good. This last Hit the yellow button, sir. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> I'm going to hug Dan a little bit extra tight when I leave. Has <laughs> anyone <laughs> 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 ever had a lump on the foot? Not for yeah, that they long, have. That bad. But not for long, because they die. That's why you've never heard about it. Don't live to tell their story. So... This one's from Mark Cullum. Overrated or underweight, underrated? Underweighted? Underweighted. Overweighted? <laughs> uh, <laughs> underweighted? <laughs> wine and champagne. Oh, overrated. Champagne is so overrated. Wine. They're both overrated, but they're also both nice. But they're people, overrated. People, go, people spend so much money on champagne to oh. just for the flex. Wine, wine is, is what, you've got to know a little bit about wine for it to make sense. And I think like most of the people in it don't know enough, so they're being conned. What are you talking about? I know wine. 
I know if you're buying a bottle, you know, you get them about a seven pound bottle. <laughs> but that's but that's meant you to treat be treat them. And then you tell it. them this isn't one of the fucking three pound fifty ones. This is a seven pound on offer down from eight pound fifty. Twelve quid bottles of wine you get. Yeah. What? Twelve quid. Mate, I literally only buy wine for my mother in law. Oh. I she's the only and I always <laughs> I feel like the eight around the eight pound on offer down from nine pounds. Twelve quid, you will change your life for the sake of four pound. <laughs> They're so much better. Like, really? I like a good red wine. I do. It's I like like it. 12 crimes or whatever it's called behind Elliot there. They're quite good then. They're, 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 about, they're about eight quid. They're like eight, yeah. nine quid. So uh, what, what happens to a bottle of wines would be worth 300 it's, quid? It's to do with the, uh, one of the Crystal Palace or people who invested in Crystal Palace made his money in wine. He was basically telling us one time, it's to do with like, you really have to know your shit once you start hitting above 60, 70 pound. Like the palate, the notes, all of that. You have to actually study it. Whereas, right. so anyone who doesn't study it and is then like, I bought an eight pound bottle of wine. Oh my God, you could, they're just buying into marketing. They're just yeah, buying okay. into this cost, this amount. So it must be worth so this. So if you're a wine expert, it's all about a crop. Like if they have a perfect crop one. So that's when, the when years. they go, oh my God, it's Bordeaux 2015. Yeah. That, if you really know your wine, you're like, that was like the next year. Yeah. It was like Euros and it wasn't as good because no one was concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Like some, France some went out to Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just burnt the field. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 all early. <laughs> Your champagne's so overrated. So, so, so. If someone hands you uh, a champagne at a party and it's free, I usually just put it down. It's, I do like champagne as well, but again, it is overrated. I, I think it's a bit over... I find it's... Uh, do you have that thing a little bit where... You, a bit of your brain is like, oh, this is so up. I'm going to sneer at it because then I, I still the defeat of not having to, I, I snatched a loss, if that makes sense. Like mm -hmm. I'm losing on my terms by not bothering to enjoy this. Oh no, with <laughs> champagne, if I'm offered it for free, I don't like the taste, but yeah, you be, drink, being, I... being poor, I was like, yeah. It was like at the comedy awards, that was all I drank all night. At the comedy awards, <laughs> when I thought we were just drinking champagne, I was like, this is going to be shit. When the kid came round with a tray of Peroni, it was so such a nice moment. I nearly kissed him. Fucking, I honestly thought we were going to be there pretending to eat drinks. Well, I, I did champagne that. Champagne the I, whole night. I asked the guy because they'd stopped giving out the free champagne. So, but I saw someone else had some. So I, I got, I called the guy over and I went, "Can I get some champagne for it, please?" Because everyone else was getting Peroni. He was like, "Yeah, yeah that'll be 130 pounds, please." So I was like, "No, uh, oh, no I'm on Peroni. Okay, I'm, I'm good." Because it wasn't champagne; but it was sparkling wine. We, which we, we got for free. When you order, can I have a bottle of champagne? That's in the charge. If you just ask for some fizz, they just give you it for free. Yeah, and it's the comedy world. So somewhere in that build, someone oh, had yeah, gone a bottle of champers. Yeah. Android phones, overrated <laughs> or underrated? I, honestly, <laughs> who? I will disgusting. get my lump check before I change to an iPhone. Wow. Really? So it's a long time on both. Uh, I went, I went uh, from iPhone to Android, and then the minute I came off uh, Samsung and went back to iPhone, it was so much better. It's just, so much better. Yeah, iPhone, yeah, yeah. Android, Android used phones to be better. are overrated because they should be rated on the same level of, as using a fucking a cup on a string. Yeah, <laughs> cup on a string. <laughs> it, they, are, they were made yeah. for goths. <laughs> is that, is that your go-to for everything at the yeah, moment? goths don't know. I've Champagne, got... posh goths. No, champagne's not for goths. Android phones are. Yeah. Oh, look, I can change my background and download stuff that you can't. So I just have a floor-length leather coat and fucking <laughs> black eyelashes. <laughs> yep. Might as well. Get up from that. Get, Get up from that. that. And Stone Island. You man goth. <laughs> 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 I love how much that pissed everyone off. What do you mean, goth? Wow. Yeah, Androids are just so inferior to... Uh, uh, iPhones. They're absolutely great. Yeah, Cue the comments. The going, uh, and got us a lot of comments. And actually, the a lot. lot of messages. People fucking emailing and going, no, lad, look. Fucking Stone Island thing is fucking sick. I'd look. I wear it and I'm sound. <laughs> <laughs> Sent from my fucking Android <laughs> phone. All the people in the comments are going, uh, actually, iPhone just does things three years after Samsung. So, <laughs> The shite. But they, I think Androids are better if you bother to learn and use the technology. Like it's got all these extra features that it can do. The thing is, I'm not going to learn to exactly. do that. I'm just going to play like Hearthstone and Angry Birds and occasionally take a picture. I don't need to how to hack into the fucking mainframe. Androids are shit, Finn. Yeah. Literally preference. Right. Okay. Let's have a, have a do word. The same to, fucking thing. To finish yourself. They do. Green text have a messages. Word? Yeah, goth. What? Have a word. Yeah. Do you want to have a word? Yes, please. I've not been doing very well with these today, but no. I think I'm going to nail it. Yeah. If you'd like to send more have a words, have a word pod at gmail.com. Have
Harry Robinson will look at them, then I'll look at them, and then give them to Finn. I'm on the way out. So this is from Jesse. Can you have a word with all the girls, and I include my mates in this, that turn every social event we go to into a fucking Instagram press shoot? Endless pics, retakes, and posing. I'm On Android phones! <laughs> Sorry, you wouldn't bother. I'm a lady, as Dan would say, but even I find it annoying. Have a word, lads. I can't have a word with these people because I am those girls. Yeah, he is. Yeah, it'd be pretty... Mm. Everyone in here makes content to some degree, but I would argue this. you ticket Selling tickets and like promoting like an actual brand or a thing like that is very different to everyone going, oh my God, be jealous of us. We're at an all bar one. <laughs> and that's what a lot of them do is yeah, they're like, yeah. oh my God, could you imagine? They always post like really attainable things. Have you ever seen someone be stood at a Wagamama's and then there's a comment going, my haters don't want to see me thrive. And like, <laughs> it's like 15 quid. What are you fucking on about? I, I can achieve that. That's that's doable. I you will one day. Mamas. You will. I believe in you. <laughs> uh, for, uh, Adam, one day, I, I'll do it. I know what you're saying. You are a bit of a, when you want a picture doing, you do check to see that it's all right. But you don't stop a night out and having fun to go, like, I've, I've seen nights out where every 15 minutes there is a stop to do pictures and all of the fun stops because they're doing the, that's, I don't mind someone going, I'd like a nice picture and yeah. then checking. But the, then it the, carries on because they all go, oh, send me it. And, the it and also, the, like, what are you it doing? makes sense. If you've got 70, 80,000 fucking Instagram followers or whatever, like all of a sudden when I put a picture on Instagram, I'm at 30,000. You're like, I do want it to look all right, but I don't stop a fucking night out mid flow to go let's take more pictures that i find that annoying have you ever noticed the worst one i've found is i've noticed this when i've been out but also when i've been playing gigs is people will be sat on their phones looking miserable and then someone will start filming and they will oh, perk yeah. up oh, immediately yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Ooh. it's i there's something very um well it's just social media is fake isn't it yeah we but need to ban it man <laughs> go back to Amish times <laughs> yeah I'm going back to Amish times I've got a, you know a string and a fucking if there's a referendum to ban social media would you vote yes no but the, I need it for work that is, but we should that's the other side we of, should do it but I wouldn't vote for it that's that's you know what the, I mean? the yeah. other side of it is people who do then get annoying going like social media is ruining everything and you're like I, things weren't grand before social media like it wasn't all okay just before social also, media. Also, don't tweet that social media is dog shit on a social media platform. Mm. Give, just fuck off. Oh yeah, there's always. Some... Don't do your fake breaks. Do you know what? Do you oh, think you'd be happy living off. in an Amish community? No, I could categorically say that yeah. I would. I'm going to be shit at raising a barn. Raising a barn. Yeah. Correct answer. I was, yeah. I'm going to. I I can't do manual labour. I, I I should be dead. Natural selection should have killed me <laughs> off. No socks. Dead, that's what I should be. <laughs> I'm not going to do well in a I'm community be. that works on everyone has to pull their own weight. I want someone else to pull a bit of my weight and then I can just yeah, sort of try to like, skip ahead through my dad. You could end up someone like, in a foreign the armor and leading them. I mean, I'd lead them into technology then. Lead them into war. That'll go well. <laughs> <laughs> With the wooden swords. I'd only join an Amish community if my dad had already sorted out a load of things for me in the <laughs> Amish community. <laughs> like, if I would really play the Nepo baby thing there, like, hey, yeah, an I know. Amish but, Nepo baby? Yeah, my, I know my dad, my, but my dad's in control of the crops, so, like, I'm going to sit this out or we all starve. So, let's... Are there any famous Amish people? Yeah. No, they just don't do social media. No, but as a nobody who's like an infamous Amish player. Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, yeah, forgot. Sorry, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, the famous um, Amish basketball player. <laughs> Kobe? Reggie Miller. Um, Kobe? No, I don't recognise any of these names. Oh, Vern Troyer. <laughs> Which is an odd one. <laughs> what? What? <He's> <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Vern Troyer Biddy is me. an Amish dwarf. <laughs> not having it. He's dead for one. Yeah, but it's 10 Was most famous Sonic people Al. from the <laughs> Means they disrespect the memory of your hero. And you know, you talk about my favorite Amish dwarf right now. <laughs> you put you some. You say he's still alive. <laughs> Take that back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he was he, up Amish. He grew up Amish. I rejected it. Short Amish. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. That's the VAR ruling. Oh, absolutely. Onside. Yay. <laughs> well, 
Go! Oh. <laughs> 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 End just... of the episode. Elliot, yeah, tell people where they can find you. Can't be anymore. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Elliot Still on Twitter at Elliot Still Com. I've also got a podcast, BTEC Philosophers, which I'll do with a uh, very funny Michael Dewale, and I'll be at the Fringe. And uh, when it's got, I've got a show at Top Secret for anyone on May 1st, when like this goes out that night, it will be doing a preview of that Lovely. show that will be at Edinburgh. Beautiful. I'm yawning. Apologies. Uh, I'm going on tour. There's loads of tickets left. Um, if one more person gets to touch, it goes, this place is sold out. No, there's one place that is sold out, which is Carlisle. London, one of the shows is sold out. The second one is nearly sold out, but there's two more in London. You can get tickets there. Liverpool is nearly sold out, but there's still like 300 tickets left to a big old room. Everywhere else has got tickets. If Ticketmaster says it is sold out, check my website or the venue website and you'll be able to get tickets. <laughs> My tour is on sale now. It starts at the end of August, runs through September, October, and November, closing off on November the 22nd at the Philharmonic. I've also got some previews in smaller uh, gaffes, July and August. That's danspreviews.com for the previews, dannightingale.com for the tour. And we are in Birmingham. Have a weird live. We're doing live Thursday, podcast shows. The 8th. 11th. 11th. Thursday the 11th Thursday of May. 11th. Birmingham. There's uh, a couple of hundred tickets left there. Come and see us. It's going to be a great show. Pod There's also live. tickets left in Glasgow and Dublin. Newcastle is basically sold out now. If you want to get the last few tickets in Newcastle. Tickets for all the Have a Weird Live shows and links to mine and Dan's website at haveawearedlive.com. Go um, and get them. There are, if you're watching this on Saturday or Monday, there's probably quiz tickets left for... This coming Monday, Monday the 1st. If you're a Patreon watching on Saturday morning, snap the last tickets up. If you want to be a part of a Patreon it's, special. It's actually very unlikely there'll be any tickets left there, to be honest with you. So do go and check that. Um, the, it was posted on Patreon. It's been posted on social media. There were tickets now. We end every episode with a song. Which is a good thing. We yeah. loved it. Uh, Someone messaged me today and was like, if you really hate the song so much, why don't you just get rid of it? Jokes, innit? It's just jokes. It's Bam. hit. Banters. But this is a good one. Yeah, so this one is Dan's sent to me. So this is a band called The Accident Group, and the song is called The Myth of Sisyphus. I love this. And I, you know. Sisyphus is what Dan's got in his foot. <laughs> oh. What kind no of music myth, that is myth. it? <laughs> huh? What kind of music is it? Uh, it's sort of low key, lo fi, hi fi. Oh, right, like fi. slow. It's the kind you that your mate sends you oh, on WhatsApp. Down, ready to do it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like reggae. Goes, mate, could you just help me out? And... Oh, so it's but like a... lo fi, hi fi, lo fi, hi fi. Yeah, low like key, hi... opera funk, sort oh. of techno. Ave Maria, Maria sitting, sitting in a tree, yeah. drinking on my beer. That Ave, Ave Maria. Maria, like that. Two pints. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I don't get a reference. It's not two points. There's been a couple in this episode that have been two points. Ah, nice. And um, yeah, that was one. That one. was two points. <laughs> 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 you fucking rats. Oh, so. press the button. I'm bored. All right, see you later. <laughs>